Uh-oh. Oh, you can't go live on me, huh, motherfucker. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> Fandango. <laughs> Trying to put on a topic stereo, but he loves <laughs> it. Oh, it's, it's 2024. Get ready. Fandango. Reckon is a mid happy dance right there. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the SF Combo Code. This is SF Company Hour number 182. Uh, jamming in the new year 2024 preview. Uh, Going to talk about all the some up to, upcoming cool stuff that's happening in the upcoming year. Uh, should be lots of fun. Uh, coming back, Lori. Uh, Lori, how you doing? We haven't seen I'm you good, thanks. Now. How are you guys? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Happy New Year! <laughs> Merry New Year! So yeah. far, it's a, so far, it's a weird year. <laughs> it's, See, it's, get it, it's the year of telling the truth, according to Cat. So, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, keeping it real. Keeping it real. <laughs> Let the world burn. Let the world burn. <laughs> we don't need no water. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> uh, they told us how to do it. Mr. Mm -hmm. Effort, how you doing? Doing well, man. Doing well. Uh, that, was, that was actually a pretty good interview. The <laughs> Cat Williams, he was just fucking letting it, letting it fly. <laughs> oh god, yeah. I don't know oh, if it yeah. was an interview. It was just him fucking just. He just Going let it off. fly. Yeah. Going off. I knew that. I knew Steve Harvey's hairline was fucking bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so welcome. Uh, yeah, first time here. Uh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. We talk about comics. We talk about. Movies, toys, uh, you know, kind of whatever we uh, we like to uh, talk about during the week. Uh, so uh, no, no real crazy news this week. Uh, we got um, Daredevil. Uh, uh, we got the Daredevil uh, being part of the MCU, the Netflix universe. Oh, here it comes time to shut down the show. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> this guy. Oh Lord. Look <laughs> how he looks all like, like what? <laughs> I didn't do anything. And I was like, you didn't tell me it was on, man. No, he knows it's on. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> ah, look at that. Dad's not paying attention. Yeah, get him. Get him, Kenobi. Strike well, him well down. the thing is, he he's decided to turn his uh fucking the area underneath my computer where my feet go into his mm -hmm. lion's den. Oh, so he God. takes all his kills there. And he, it's like the ghost in the darkness, except it's all in one right here. <laughs> he is he is the ghost and the darkness, this guy. Go. <laughs> fucking lion of Savo. Fucking uh, you saw him, he bit me. Man eater. He bit me. He bit yeah. me. So he uh, doesn't like me being here right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. invading on his face. He wants, he wants the intention on him. Uh, yeah, so Brandon, yeah, he's the same thing. All right. Well, welcome to a cat or, a cat talk here on SF Convo. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just so uh, the MCU is becoming canon. Uh, uh, the uh, the Netflix uh, stuff is becoming MCU canon now. I think they saw the backlash. People like like those characters coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, Laurie, what'd you what'd you think of this uh, this uh, this news coming out this week? Uh, I think it's great. I think that you know it's good to go back to the canon because that's how it should be. You know, I was just saying not too long ago that they need to put people in charge that uh, actually know what they're doing and know what they're talking about and have actually read the comic books or or source material because it, it doesn't make any. It, it just doesn't feel the same it doesn't hit the same it's we should yeah. just stick to what we know you know yeah and they were they were kind of loosey-goosey with it oh it might be right. canon. it's not canon i think they kind of like say hey you have already like you have their origins already you know you can skip a lot of bullshit now now you can just go telling other stories uh and it's on it's on uh, it's on the disney plus now too so like yeah it might, might as well just make it canon bring back the characters people actually liked uh, so I think it's a good, a good move. Afro, what'd you right. think of this one? You saw this? Oh, dude, I loved it. I, for, I like fucking, you know, what, Eldon Hansen, right? Yeah, fucking 
dude from Mighty Ducks. You know, <laughs> that's that's how I, that's all I remember him as is dude. You know, fucking Fulton from Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy to see him. Happy to see uh, her too uh, come back. But the best part is, all of it's canon. Yeah. You get to pick that. That's part of the storyline. So I haven't got to see Echo yet. I don't know if it's reached the level of. I've heard, I've heard mixed things on Echo. So people, yeah, I heard it's only yeah. five episodes. I, I'll, I I'll, I'll watch it still. Sometimes they're supposed to, they're better when they're shorter. You know, five episodes sounds like a good. Yeah, get in, get out. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just haven't had that. Uh, there's so much other good shit to watch right now. Like I don't want to be right. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> uh, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see yeah. So if if it's a good it's good going forward having this become the. I guess this is the baseline to see what they can do as far as pushing the envelope to uh, that mature audiences, you know, that grittier look, that spit and polish look that uh, of Marvel sometimes doesn't vibe. Not on all heroes, especially not Daredevil. Yeah, you know? it, it, it's a, it's a great thing about comics. You can have a gritty take on a character and have different art styles and shit. That, and they can do that with the movies too and the TV shows. Like everything doesn't have to look at the same. It, it started to get to a, like a same like generic. It all uh, eight by numbers. Wow, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a lot going on today, huh? <laughs> they say they call him the Hurricane. I got Hurricane go. Kenobi right now. So oh my go. god, I love it. Shop, wrecking shop. Uh, other uh, news we want to hear your quick opinions about. Uh, we got the Star Wars Mandalorian and Grogu is a movie being directed by John Favreau coming out, uh, which is uh, you know we 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 knew that the Filoni movie. Uh, I guess that's going to be separate from this. Uh, oh, uh, so uh, Filoni's still doing his uh, Avengers get together movie, and this is happening also. So this is uh, yeah, they're uh, I think they're going with the hot hand on uh, <coughs> on the Ma- <coughs> Mandalorian and Grogu. It's kind of a, I wish they would come up with a better name, but Mandalorian and Grogu seems to be the official title. And John no. Favreau. <laughs> <laughs> They're both Mandalorians, apparently. Oh, come on. The, the Mandalorians. Is... The Mandalorians. <laughs> Plural. Mandaloriai. Mandal- okay. Mandalorian, the uh, whatever. <laughs> and you kind of figure that, um, uh, yeah, this project is separate from the announced uh, Filoni film. It seems to be the the uh, the New Republic thing with all the, uh, the the shows kind of crossing over. So I wonder, like, yeah, the, and they said there there should be another season two of Mando. Oh, good. So there's a lot of rumors going around right now. First, I want to hear, uh, Lori, what do you think about, uh, about them doing a movie? So uh, is it so both Dave Filoni and John Favreau are doing movies? Or yeah, yeah. wow. Um, Wow. Okay. Well, I, I think I, it's in conjunction, that's... right? Like, they're like one's directing, one's pr- like producing writing. I think Filoni's yeah, think... doing the directing the um, the crossover, you know, movie, and the oh, okay. Crossover. And okay. then Favreau's going to do the Mandalorian Grogu movie, which I, I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, I have a feeling they might combine the projects and just make it one thing. Yeah, that would probably be the better best for everybody because I, I mean, when the two of them team up together anyway for Mandalorian, their episodes are always some of my favorites. And I think that it's good now that Dave Filoni is pretty much the head of everything and anything Star Wars because he knows that better than probably even Lucas himself. But uh I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad that there's going to be more um, seasons of of uh, Mando because we it's, everybody's wanting Grogu to speak. It's like finally speak for Christ's sake. <laughs> we all want him to just say something, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah. it'll be it'll be good regardless. So look, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of shit going on with Star Wars right now. Uh, they said it, this might be the, instead of season four because Pedro Pascal is kind of a hot hand right now. He's going to be shooting Fantastic Four soon, oh, right? And, oh, really? Oh, yeah, wow! But, but they don't, you know, he has an excuse to put on the the helmet all the time, so he's not really showing True. the face. He just has to come in and do some voice work every, uh, you know, hour of voice work. Right. So, so this there there's a bunch of shit going around. This, so this might be instead of season four, we're going to get the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of conflicting reports going around now. So in right. Star Wars, it's always grain of salt with some shit because they've announced right movies in the past like five years that none of them are uh, uh, going to happen. Uh, we'll talk right. about one in a second. But uh, Efren, what do you think, man? Mandalorian and Grogu movie? You're excited about this? Uh, depending. Is this going to be like you said? Is it going to be just the movie, or is it going to be a uh, movie and series? Or is this I kind of want... or just to, like you know cut cut down to a two hour movie? <sighs> that would be interesting, yeah. Or even <sighs> continuation. Yeah, I mean, there, especially if it's going to. Well, 
they're going to concentrate on one storyline storyline mm-hmm. pretty much that's that's what it is there is pretty much should be minimal setup for anything else right they're going to go from point a to point b and then when the bigger conflict comes in they're just coming in right you know with the series it's that everything's interconnected right. uh I, I don't know i like the idea of it mm-hmm. I, i'm for me it's more star wars more star wars more star wars yeah, yeah very true yeah, and then uh, now there's rumors that the Daisy Ridley one is not uh, going to be uh, postponed indefinitely now, too. And Don't I, say stupid shit, man. I, I think it's <laughs> like, too, like, why would you... Like, the fan base is already on edge already. Uh, mm-hmm. and they're already, like, fucking ready to hate this fucking movie already. And now you're going to say, you know, all come out and say, oh, I'm going to piss off a lot of fans. And, like, uh, like why would you come out? Come why in would you do that? Movie? Like, we already had that. We had, It was called The Last Jedi. We don't need another. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. To bring us together, not to fucking tear us apart again. So, right. like, coming in with that attitude, especially right now, what it has Star Wars is, like, kind of, like, I love what a lot of the shit they're doing, but a lot of fans are like, oh, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm uh, done with Star Wars. Like, my, why would my, come- my question is, who hired her? I, I'm pretty sure it's Kathleen Kennedy, right? And who's in charge when it comes to creative content? I think it's Filoni. So Filoni's probably, probably listening and like, what are you going to do? Yeah, this isn't going to vibe. No. Yeah, this no, this is not. This isn't probably what would happen. No, How about wouldn't. if you did this? Yeah. No. Like, you, we're trying to mend fences here. We're trying to bring everyone in. But coming in with that kind of attitude for a Star Wars movie, oh, it's going to piss a lot of people. I'm like, no. Why would you like, alienate anybody in Star yeah. Wars? Like, what, what, so who are you making this for? I don't understand. Like, then if you're going to piss off a bunch of Star Wars fans, why are you even making this? Like, why? Why? Like, I think the fair, the, probably the fair weather ones that, that, you know, don't, that kind of are only somewhat fans. They're not full on, you know, fans, so to speak. It, it, it just makes me think that this is some kind of art art school confidential oh. fucking student, <laughs> right. student, you know, like I'm I, you're you're too big for your britches. Fucking sh- slow your horses, just fucking make a good movie. Don't make stupid <laughs> proclamations, man. Just fucking make a good movie. Yeah. Then you can say I intended to piss people off when people like it, if people yeah. like it. Yeah, but don't right. go, don't fucking feed a preconceived notion of I'm gonna fuck you. You're already turning a lot of people against you. Why? Yeah, right. yeah what there's, no, there's no need for it. There's no need to like have that attitude coming into a movie that uh, a franchise that's are people are already kind of like um, kind of iffy on and kind of like gonna turn in their backs on. So I, 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 I so I, I think that movie. I think that that was like bad we'll, we'll wording, see. bad choice of words. We'll see because I do want to see uh, a Ray movie. You know. Yeah. I'm interested yeah. to see what happens. I want to see what happens next. Going. Yeah, like you know, it, it that definitely ended on a whimper, but they could, there's still some cool shit they can do, and that we have a lot of new canon they can play off of too. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, Grogu's going to be what 20, 20 years older, and maybe we have, get an older Grogu in there, yeah. uh, but, and her rebuilding the Jedi in a new a new way. Uh, but yeah, just uh, I'm just. It's just a bad. It's just bad wording and bad. Like, come on, man! It's a wrong attitude to come in. I, uh, I would even say it's bad wording because I mean, yeah. you're you know what you're saying when it comes to that kind of fucking comment. Yeah, right. And, like yeah. you're, you're come like I'm gonna piss. Hey, you're gonna. That's a, that's a hell of a stance to take. Yeah, I, I, just, I just it's just come on, man! Like we were trying to build bridges, not fucking yeah. blow the whole thing up. So put it, put uh, it like this, just like just just for instance, Kevin Smith went into when he made Dogma. He wasn't intending, he was going forward writing this to piss a whole bunch of people off. He wasn't mm-hmm. doing that. He was just trying to write his story and, and write a story. He knew what was going to come of it, but you know, he, he wasn't so much concentrated on, I'm going to do it to, to do this. That's what this person kind of said that they were going to do. And that's right. the difference, man. Yeah. 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 Uh, Chris, good evening, nerds. Happy Taco Tuesday. Ooh, Taco Tuesday. Uh, every, every taco's day. going right now. Taco, uh, tacos every day, folks. Taco <laughs> Tuesday. Uh, hi, Lori. Hi, Krista. Uh, EA, 100% green. Everything we say. Everything we say. Thank Yay. you. <laughs> uh, is that show tied to the What If episode? Uh, we're talking about the... Um, <coughs> Daredevil? Oh, Daredevil. Echo? Probably. Yeah, I watched the first couple of uh, What Ifs. They were okay. I, I haven't finished it yet, but uh, I, I got to jump back in. <sighs> I'll... I- I wasn't too excited when I first saw them. 
And I don't know your reaction. Like, if you would have been like, "Yeah, yeah, this is good. You should check it out." <laughs> the Tony Stark like, one on uh, Sakar was actually pretty entertaining. I, I, I was ready to hate that episode. I actually found it pretty entertaining. So, uh, you know, we'll see. I'll, I'll watch the. Uh, there's. It looks like some g- good ones coming up. So I'm, I'm gonna check it out. Robert Downey Jr. does the voice. Uh, somebody that sounds like him. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, they, uh, they can't afford him just his voice. <laughs> He's gonna yeah. get some more. Uh, but uh, what was the other one? Uh, the Captain Fucking Carter. Lemoids, man. Just basically did the, the voice. They basically did the Captain Carter, a sequel to Captain Carter, but in the Winter Soldier like kind of vibe. So that was uh, that was that one was pretty interesting too. So uh, those two episodes so far, I thought they were the. Uh, and then they do a Die Hard, fa- uh, Happy Hogan one. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, it was kind of hit or miss for me on Christmas time. Uh, it was kind of hit or miss, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, interesting. Uh, so well, well, I guess we'll stay on the topic of uh, TV and kind of talk about some of the shows we're looking forward to in the next uh, year. Uh, Lori, start with you. Like, what, what some of the shows you're looking forward to uh, this upcoming year? Well, I know Curb Your Enthusiasm's last uh, season is happening, I believe, February 4th, I think, yeah, which I'm him. totally, totally stoked about because I yeah. just absolutely adore him. <laughs> he just, he kills me. Mm-hmm. And have you guys seen the latest one with the alien? No, the, the new alien no, no. trailer? No, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I heard oh, God, I it's it hysterical. It, it, <laughs> it's so great. The latest trailer is wonderful, but... I'm just so happy that we finally get to end, you know, end the, this incredible run that he's had for the last what is it, 12, 15 years, something like that. Well, yeah, season well he, took some, he took some. He took some. He took a few off, years off. Yeah, yeah, but still. Which like, I kind of like that. I like when you like instead of just like have to make a season and like it, right. and then yeah. you don't have any ideas. But so I, I like people taking their time with. Yeah. You're like I, I'd rather wait for quality. I don't want to. Oh, like, absolutely. I don't and want I like the fact that that's um, be mediocre. Right, that Tracy Ullman's back and. Uh, uh, was it JB Smoove is back and Vince Vaughn is back. And I mean, it just looks like Larry being Larry again. And I'm so excited about that. Yeah. Um, another show I'm looking forward to is Shogun, which is going to be on yes. FX. And, and the trailer looks amazing. And I can't wait to see that. But also just the cast itself is really uh, phenomenal. And um, I was a fan of the original uh, miniseries. I remember when it came out, it was in the 80s, I think. I remember watching it um, as a kid, and then I think they re-ran it like 10 years later or something like that. So that's going to be um, a lot of fun uh, to watch and to kind of delve back into that that world. Um, and then, what is it, the fifth or sixth season of um, What We Do in the Shadows, of course, yeah, which I'm six, hoping... Uh, six, I believe. Is it going to be the sixth yeah. and last, I think, season? Is yeah. it? And I think that's coming out this year, I hope, at least. Yeah, it's, it's on the schedule for this year, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, I mean that show just. Yeah, I can't say enough about that. Yeah, one of my favorite shows. I'm 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 actually okay with them ending at this point. You know, they 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 told a good story, and the last season was kind of running on some steam. Uh, Yeah, it's still entertaining because you love those characters, but I think it's it's a good time to like close out. And you can always revisit these characters too. That's very true. They're vampires. They set up perfectly for their ending, though. They're, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Fina- they set up perfectly for a good finale, which is a good part. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and something always, that's. Go ahead. Yeah, and you can always do a movie down the road. You can do. That, I was just gonna say yes. You could always definitely do that as well. And uh, what's happening characters. now is uh, the fourth season of True Detective just started uh, this past Sunday too, which I I really liked the first episode. Um, mm. And you know Jodie Foster. I mean, you can't go wrong with her. She's she's fantastic. So I'm looking forward to more of that. And then hopefully, Monarch. If there's a season two of Monarch, um, I don't know if that'll even come out. Probably not till maybe 2025. I'm assuming. Uh, well, the second, the first season came like November, so maybe we'll get. Oh uh, yeah, true. So maybe towards the end of the year. Uh, and the way they ended, they I think it pretty much guarantees they're going to have a sequel. Right. Uh, did you did you finish? Did you get a chance to uh, check that out, effort? Not yet, uh, no. dude. I, I I'm still behind. I just finished season one again, uh, so we're gonna start season two. Uh, oh, how how much different monarch? is? Of oh no, what? monarch. I thought you guys were talking to detective. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. I was writing some stuff down. But mo- yeah, monarch's coming out with the season two already. Uh, well, that's what we're. Th- I mean, the, the, the way that they left it. Who knows? Yeah, but. it's it's uh, it's um, it was it was a good, it was very satisfying um season finale yeah, and it, yeah. it makes it up and stuff for a uh, season. It, I it think was, they probably won't come back till next year because they're gonna have the movie. Uh, that's probably gonna push a little bit. Oh of the story right. Forward. Yeah, the movie uh, comes out April, so 
Yeah, uh, so right because they might they might incorporate that then into the new if yeah, if there is the second season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was a very enjoyable uh, show. I really uh, dug it, and they really they, they, they nailed it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good call. Yeah. Like it felt like you were watching a uh, movie like every week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and then it just I love how it tied in to all of the old like the what was it the Skull Island, and then uh, it kind of tied into that and the older a little bit of the older um godzillas as well which i really loved and it actually kind of had a, a pacific rim vibe to me as well because there was the um uh, you know all of the monsters that are coming out in the, the d- different dimensions and all that kind of stuff so that it, it very much had that uh that uh, pacific rim feel to it which i loved yeah um, there, I there, there's been rumors too that they're going to Somehow tie that in. Combine the universe, yeah, yeah. Because it's I'd all be forward if Del Toro comes back. It's all le- it's all under the legendary banner, so you know you right. can have that. You know something happen where that's that's where the future, where that's where they're heading. So you never yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, um, I think there was also a series. Oh God, I can't remember what the name of it is now, but it's a Guy Ritchie actually has a series coming out. I think on Netflix, The Gentleman. That I think that might be it. That might be it. Yeah, yeah. that looks. That that looks good. Um, of course, I'm looking forward to Argyle, which is going to be amazing. But that's, oh, that's Matthew Vaughn. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a movie. Yeah, that's a movie. But I, I don't really know if there's really anything else series-wise that's coming out that I can think of off the top of my head. But those what are the you, ones that I like so far. Like I said, that's, one you're, that's the one you're juiced about. All right. Oh yeah, Mr. absolutely. Effort, what do you got, man? What, what uh, you, what so let me just about? go. Let me just go through my list here, dude. I just want to make sure I don't skip anything. I wrote a, a lot of stuff down. Um, yeah. That okay. case. Sorry. 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 <laughs> uh, True Detective. Like Masters of the Air. I want to check that out. You know, off of Apple TV. I, I love anything that's like when it comes to planes. Uh, mm-hmm. So like Iron Eagle, you know, Red Tails, uh, the Tuskegee Airmen, all of those stories of just mm-hmm. uh, flight of the flight of the intruder, just uh, stories of like pilots. There, those are some crazy motherfuckers. What they do, man, and uh, the how they do it, it is just an everyday thing to them. Just like amazes me, right. the speeds that they go at, and the the earlier movies like Maverick or like or even Maverick, uh, but like Top Gun, they that's a lot of hardware that they actually used. Which is amazing mm-hmm. to actually get those shots. Everything these days is fucking CG'd, so you know it just looks so fucking cheese. But uh, I, I'm like interested for that. I want to see how it looks, and I think it comes from. Uh, uh, that's not a Spielberg thing, is it? It, feel, it kind of feels like it. Uh, and the kid who plays Elvis in it is in it. So yeah, oh, Austin Butler, yeah, Austin Butler. I want to call him Gerard Butler. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so I'm also looking forward to Invincible. I want to. I'm hoping that this is going to oh, come in this nice. this this year. Uh, finish season two, uh, the part two. Um, looking forward to Avatar: The Last Airbender on Netflix. On Netflix, yeah. That looks fucking. You're making amazing. a series? They're finally, yes. they're finally live getting action. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know if you remember. Do you remember the show Lost? Uh, I I never watched it, but I knew the show. Yeah, well, there's a character on there. He's gonna p- play the the Fire Lord Ozai, which I can't fucking wait to see. Oh, he's, he's, he's gonna, uh, which who was voiced by Mark Hamill in the animated oh, series. So, uh, it's a great story. It's I, I enjoyed it. Krista uh, recommended it. We watched the whole thing. Uh, it it was super enjoyable. My brother at, and he about ten years earlier like recommended it. You know, I was like, yeah, I'll get to it. You know, mm-hmm. never got to it, but. Once I it, it's it's pretty epic, and uh, yeah, to well, see this live action would is going to be pretty sick, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, so mm-hmm. let me see. Also, you mentioned Shogun. Uh, I'm not sure if Fallout is going to be a movie or a series. Series, but I, series that mm-hmm. looks sick. What's that, that one about? Yeah, uh, it's, so, it's based off the video game. It's yeah. Kind of, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's a, something post-apocalyptic. You, they they you know they they go into Fallout shelters, and it's pretty much almost like. Uh, I don't know. It's not such such a fantastical Mad Max. Mm. Mad Max is more oh, into fantastical okay. kind of thing. This is more in a grounded way to describe it. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. This is more of a grounded post-apocalyptic uh, thing. You know, each shelter has like uh, a certain amount of people that it can you know maintain, and mm-hmm. those places become communities. And you know, you have to fucking walk out. Sometimes you have to go outside and see how much the fucking world is 
change right. and how dangerous it is. And I can't wait. Uh, the game oh. was pretty sick. Uh, Walter Goggins right. playing the villain. That's I'm, oh wow. Oh, yeah. I love him. I love him. That's Walter gonna be awesome. Goggins in anything really. I'm, I'm yeah. A, yeah, yeah. He's fucking dude. I I still remember him when he was in. You know, what was it? Uh, the Shield? Major League Three. No, oh. Major League Three. Back to the minors. He was fucking uh, the guy back. they called downtown who was looking for his swing. Scott Bakula mm-hmm. came to save him. You know, taught him how to be a major leaguer. Nice. So yeah, I, I just to see that guy come. From like the bottom to the top right now where he's at, fucking great. Fucking love yeah. him as Cecil on fucking uh Invincible. Yeah, he's um, he's, he's a great, he's a great uh just a, he's so versatile. Yes, like, he's the most charming motherfucker ever, and he could be the most sinister motherfucker, but you're still just fascinated by him. Yeah, yeah he's definitely uh he's definitely up there. Yeah, watch the trailer, Lori. It's it's a it's a fun trailer. Like yeah, I never played the game, but I I'm aware of it because it's everywhere, like Fallout, mm-hmm. like you see Fallout stuff everywhere. Fallout is you watch it, you will enjoy the trailer. Yeah, yeah the yeah. trailer is very entertaining. It looks very quirky and like weird, and mm. just like you know, like he said, like a fantastic, fa- fantastical uh, Mad Max kind of like. Yeah. Oh weird. wow, that should be uh, fun. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, also, House of the Dragon season two. Mm-hmm. Nothing more can be said. Yeah, that season one, I can't season wait one. to see what happens after that shit. Oh my god, that season one kicked my ass, man. Wow. That shit just like yeah, it's just so good all across the board. One of the best last fucking 10 minutes of tv ever yeah. i've ever seen yeah. i was like holy shit this is yeah. this is intense yeah i can't wait to see what comes yeah i need to rewatch the first season again dude it, it, it's it's really good well acted like uh man it, it's 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 matt insane. smith yeah matt smith turn matt me around smith is a g smith. yep oh, oh, right you were saying that you know <laughs> i hated matt smith I can do no. I, I want Matt Smith to be a fucking X Men somewhere. I don't give a shit. Mm. That, that, I, he he has won me over, dude. Yeah, yeah. Damon Targaryen is a savage of savages. Yeah. So, yep. yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, there's another show called The Sympathizer. Robert Downey Jr. coming from HBO Max. Great story. It's a, a post Vietnam story. Uh, it, the, I saw the trailer. Look fucking. It looks sick. Uh, I, I go real quick. Uh, so. Uh, Daredevil, Daredevil's supposed to come out, right? We don't know if it's coming out. I, I doubt it's going to come out I this year. Know. Yeah, well, right. we never know. We never know if they. Cobra Kai season six. I'm so behind on that. I just wanted, I just wanted to. It's it's going to finish. This is the mm-hmm. last season. I, I I can see a spinoff with other characters, which is fine. Well, they're but... doing Daniel Sun and uh, Jackie Chan. Fucking having, they're having a movie too. So. Oh wow! Yeah, I Hopefully think that's filming. he's yeah. actually teaching good Miyagi fucking <laughs> those, yeah, karate and shit. You know, it's kung so, fu man, kung fu yeah, kid. Kung fu. You're not yeah. the kung. Have Larusso come hard. Yeah, that's not fucking karate, right? That's it's kung fu. You got to know your shit. <laughs> I expect <laughs> you to know that. Uh, let me see. The boys. Oh, uh, right. Umbrella yeah. Academy. Oh, that's right. I, I and, kind of fell off Umbrella Academy. Oh, on that. Yeah. I know people fell off in that third, third season. I didn't watch the third like season. It. You didn't yeah, watch it. Watch I didn't watch the third season. I just, yeah. I don't know. I just kind of skipped me by. And like, I, I was juiced on the first season. The first season was amazing. Second season's season, great. Second, second season's good. Second season's yeah, good. It's okay. Yeah. Good. It good just, it, the second season get, didn't get me juice for the third season. So third season, I, third season's a little bit. That's if you didn't like the second season, the third season's going to be like, uh, this is just, <laughs> that's because that's yeah. where I was coming out. I was like, all right, come on. Yeah. I'm hoping for season four to be that season that kind of yeah. resurrects. Yeah, see, I agree with you with season three. I mean, season one was just, uh, I absolutely adored it. I mean, I own season one on DVD. If we could just have a season of just number five, <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be good. <laughs> yeah, no just doubt. his antics alone is, would be perfect. Yep. And finally, Penguin. Oh, that's right. I forgot about Penguino. that. That's probably the last show. And then there are going to be other shows that pop up. Yeah, you know those that, surprise hits that we're like, oh, I didn't know about this, and it's fucking yeah. amazing. Exactly. That's my sim- the sympathizer is going to be that surprise one for me, just because I right now Robert Downey Jr. is fucking like the hottest thing on fucking earth when it comes to right. uh, yeah. everything he touches. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. If you haven't seen Oppenheimer yet, he fucking steals that fucking movie. Yeah, uh, probably his best acting performance uh, in any movie. Uh, he he kills it in that movie. He's yeah, he's just pr- he's worth price of admission right there in uh, Oppenheimer. He fucking kills it. He's so good in that movie. Uh, <coughs> uh, some of the ones uh, weren't that weren't mentioned that are on my list. Um, uh, Skeleton tr- uh, Crew. Uh, this is coming out. Uh, Sean, oh, uh, yeah. Sean Levy. Uh, this is Star Wars Skeleton Crew. This is it's still uh, coming out. 
still coming out. Should be coming out this year. Um, yeah, this is uh, the Star Wars. They said it's kind of Star Wars meets Stranger Things kind of uh, vibe yeah. to it. So it should be kind of interesting. And I think it's set during the post-return era, too. So that that should be uh, – I'm That's looking forward to that. Uh, there, there's a lot of things where, oh, we're going to make it Stranger Things. So we'll see how uh, good, but I, I'm looking forward to it. I like Jude Law, too, so that, that should be interesting. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get the final uh, season of Bad Batch uh, as uh, the third and final season. Uh, very kind of surprised me. I kind of went into that show not really caring. Like, I don't really yeah. need some weird clone trooper series, uh, but it definitely won me over. It's definitely very entertaining. I definitely lo- like their vibe, uh, and the, the show is really entertaining. So I'm, I'm glad they they have a, a beginning, middle, and end. We're going to end it, uh, end it uh, on a pretty uh, – I think it's going to be a good, uh, good uh, final season. Uh, and we got uh, X Men ninety seven. Uh, oh, this fuck yeah! Oh, wow, uh, X Men ninety seven. This is a sequel series to the X Men nineties cartoon. Uh, this is going to be a big one. I think this is going to have a, a more of an impact than people think. Uh, some of my favorites were uh, Deadpool uh, three. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, but um, yeah, this uh, X Men ninety seven. I'm very. Uh, the toys are coming out. I've already purchased a, a Wolverine uh, from the show. So the toys are already starting to come out. You're starting to see them in stores and stuff. So uh, they're, this is going to be a big one when they've, uh, they haven't officially announced the date, but it should be uh, very soon. Uh, that's going to be a big one. I'm uh, totally looking forward to that. Uh, and uh, yeah, they, we kind of talked about all the other ones I, would, uh, I was looking at. Uh, how Yeah. Uh, Ted that just premiered this year. That's uh, that just uh, premiered on, Peacock the last uh, uh, couple days ago. Uh, mm-hmm. I watched the first three episodes. Fucking really entertaining. Is that the one about the bear? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the <laughs> Seth MacFarlane. Seth oh MacFarlane. God, the prequel of it's set oh, in okay. the early, early mid nineties, and it's like about uh, 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 Ted like during the nineties going to school with uh, with the uh, uh, Bennett, and uh, it's it's pretty fucking entertaining. It's pretty um, it's pretty much what you expect from like. Seth MacFarlane and and uh, Ted and kind of making his commentary on a uh, on, right. uh, <laughs> on his commentary on uh, on life in the '90s. So it's, it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> One episode, he's dressed like a Ewok because he's a big oh, Ewok. God. <laughs> uh, and so it's it definitely. I've, I've only seen the, the first three episodes <laughs> so far. It's pretty. Uh, they're all out right now too, which is great. That's fun. Uh, so yeah, go check that out if you haven't. It's on Peacock. Peacock actually has some good uh, good stuff on there. Yeah, every once yeah. in a while they do. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's you know, House of Dragon was high on my list for sure. Yes. I'm super excited about that. Uh, so yeah, so some, 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 and like uh, Rick said, there's going to be some stuff that pops up, uh, that's going to be, uh, you know, we're, we don't even know about it. So, yeah, uh, Danny, uh, you guys excited for Walking Dead, Rick and Michonne? I haven't been excited about Walking Dead since season seven, really. Um, <laughs> I, I kind of want to check out some of the like, I kind of wanted to check out the Negan and um, um, oh, the yeah. Uh, show I was kind of interested in that, but I just uh, not not excited about it. Uh, when did you drop off Walking Dead, Rick? Uh, <clears throat> maybe right before the whispers. Okay, yeah, yeah, around that time. That's about when I kind of definitely. I think Negan was, you know, they were trying to pit the whispers against Negan and all that shit. I, I just really fell out of it. I like the book, love the book. Yeah, book is great. Um, Even the book kind of ended, like, kind of whimpered out towards the end, and the, they ended it at the right time because the, even the book was kind of getting corner, kind of like repetitive and kind of going through going through the same bullshit over and over again. So one, it ended at I the do, right time. One thing I do like it's these are the two characters I would want to watch. I, understand, I, I don't really understand the whole Maggie and Negan thing. Like, yeah, I I, I like that. I, 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 but... She she would fuck if, if if it was real life. She would slit his throat in, in his fucking <laughs> sleep, dude. Come on. Yeah, hey, you can't trust Negan. I know he's a necessity, but just the person he is, you can't trust. You can't trust him. Yeah, um, you ever read the the Here's Negan the book? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, that was, that was the origin. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great, great character. One of my Great favorite. I'm just trying to say for the sense of the story, everything that's happened to Maggie, I don't just there's no understand yeah. no way. But Rick and Michonne, that's a pairing I want to see. I just I I don't get the whole uh love interest thing. I understand that they chop certain characters and you know they they, yeah, they made an amalgam of new ones. Was like, I understand like, it for the like, show, I love it for the like show. Andrea. It was yeah, supposed to be Andrea. Andrea. She's supposed to be badass. Uh, they you know? screwed her up for fucking they bad fucked her up over yeah. Yeah. yeah that that was the worst story arc i they, I, yeah. they took one of my favorite characters and destroyed her arc yeah. ruined it you know? 
Uh, Oppenheimer is gonna will be on Peacock next month. Yeah, I think on the sixteenth. Um, I think. Yeah. Big Leo. Big Leo. Like the, you you got like that. You got that from Twitter, uh, or X. <laughs> you know. You got uh, that from X. Tacoma FD is my new favorite show uh, from Danny. That show's fucking hilarious, man. If you haven't seen it, it's the guys from Broken Lizard. Uh, there, it's a fire department in uh, in uh, was it a Washington? Uh, it's fucking funny as fuck. It's 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 really there. It's on Netflix now. Uh, it's kind of hard to find uh, for a while, but now it's on Netflix uh, for uh, four seasons. Well, is it all of them? Uh, it, the, the latest, it's, it's Steve. It's Steve Lemmy. I know it's Steve Lemmy and Kevin Heffernan, but is yeah, it, and is... the other. Uh, uh, Jay hasn't made an appearance. I think has he actually made an appearance? He might, be, he, might he might be a director if you have seen the scenes. Of the episodes, yeah. but the other guy he shows up a lot too. He it's 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 pretty funny when he shows up. Uh, he's like a, a kind of a he's called the wolf. Uh, and he is yeah. a character's uh, it's very entertaining. It's a it's a very you know old school kind of uh show. Uh, but those guys, uh, Steve, Steve, uh, was it Steve Lemmy? What's the, what the hell's his name? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he's Steve so Lemmy. Funny. Uh, he's a uh, Panizzi. He's a uh, you know <laughs> Steve Panizzi. Uh, he's fucking hilarious. They're just <laughs> uh, you know just being firefighters and right. comedy ensues. It's fucking. It's rare. Very. very <laughs> uh, Sup, Leo from Danny, connecting folks. Uh, yes, all four seasons on uh yeah on Netflix. I yeah, need to watch it actually. Yeah, they're like yeah. thirteen episode seasons. They're very quick. Uh, it, like 20, 25 minute episodes. Yeah. They're very quick in and out. Very like some funny situations they get get put in, and you get some silly firefighter shit. Uh, it's very entertaining. Yeah, d- definitely check it out if you haven't checked out uh, Tacoma FD. Uh, yeah, Animal Control is coming back too. If you ever seen the first season of Animal Control with uh, Joe McHale, uh, it's hmm. you know it, it's uh, it's another funny one, kind of almost the same situation, but it's Animal Control. Uh, but f- funny show that's that's coming. I was surprised it's coming. I look, I feel like Joe McHale only does one and done shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, it's it's uh, nice to see that back on the back on the thing. Uh, and, you know, it's um, some uh, fun shows coming back too, like uh, Abbott Elementary. If you haven't ch- checked that out on um, uh, ABC, that's a fun show. But a uh, school, uh, public school in uh, Philly, uh, it's a it's a it's a good show. It's a very heartful, heartfelt so show. So check that yeah. out. Yeah. And some other shows are kind of finishing up. I mean, they started in probably in, in December, I think. Like, yeah. I've been watching. Uh, I watched the first season of Quantum Leap, the new Quantum Leap. How's that? Uh, it's pretty good. Mm. Uh, I like how they incorporate some of the old stuff. Mm-hmm. Some of the newer stuff, they 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 kind of acknowledge that they change a lot of technology. Uh, they do mention uh, set in the same universe, all right? Set in the same universe, man. Like, uh, they, oh man, I almost fucking lost it. But like when you first see her, but you do see uh, uh, Al's fucking wife, the one that he always pined for. And, he, you know, he had Sam kind of help out and he got her back. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So her, her kid, uh, you know, nice. Calavici. Yeah. She's, she's helping out on the whole project too. I, I, I like all the characters. All the characters are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't know if they're gonna ultimately include Scott Bakula. I haven't really watched this season. I'm gonna binge it, but it's gonna finish up in this season. And Night Court, man, Night Court was. Oh yeah. I like the first season of Night Court, and I yeah. can't wait. I know that Marshall Warfield actually was in the first uh, couple episodes, but yeah. I haven't got to see him yet. Yeah, there's, there's not many left. She's like the only one that the only one that's left. Yeah, exactly. Her, I think her and John Larroquette are the only two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that are left of the yeah, actual series, gone, which is so sad, man. I, w- I would love to see fucking you know Harry w- Harry doing and all these other characters, but uh, unfortunately, oh, yeah. unfortunately, uh, yeah, time fucking times of times of be. And uh, I, I, I'm I'm actually better off that they're not redoing Harry. Yeah, because that would be a fucking disservice to fucking you know. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, you can't recast that. No, no. no. Yeah, so I'm just I'm just glad, or like even like re-updating the character. It's. It's his daughter, which and she has a lot of his kind of quirk, which I like. Mm-hmm. Uh, she did a real good study on him. She has a little bit of it. Sometimes it's a little forced, but she, it, I, don't see, I don't see Bernadette. I see, I see fucking what's her name? You know, Abby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's kind of washed that character yeah. away. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a good, it's a good fucking role for her. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She's definitely uh, charming, uh, and I, I think the dude's not back. I think the 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 Indian dude's not the only one that hasn't come back. Um, yeah, I think that he was he he was replaced. I don't yeah. know. I was and hoping that, they would probably would replace the DA. She's kind of annoying at times. Uh, and that kind of happened with Die Court. It was, they kind of ran through uh, DAs and different characters coming mm-hmm. came in and out the first few seasons before they settled on the the cast they had. So yeah, 
Uh, so that you, you I, I think defense that's okay. Attorneys, defense attorneys. Yeah, defense uh, defense attorneys. So they, they, I'm sure they'll, um, you, you know, you could bring some other people in, and you know, maybe for the better. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, there's some fun stuff coming up. We're gonna be like, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna be some stuff we don't, you know, on the end of our year list, we're gonna talk about some shit we didn't even know about. And it's gonna yeah. pop up. That show was amazing, best show ever. So it's okay, cool. no, nobody from a few years ago, man. One of the best movies ever. Oh yeah, yeah. I had heard something that there uh, that Salem's Lot is not gonna be a movie, but it's gonna be a series. I'm good with that too. On, on Max, I think. Mm -hmm. And apparently they're also rebooting again Battlestar Galactica. For I still need to watch that, that show from the 2000. I love that show. Oh, when I was yeah. I, yeah, I watched the I watched the early show when I was a kid, but right. yeah, I didn't see yeah, the one with uh, show, yeah. Edward James Olmos. Yeah, about it like it's the greatest fucking thing ever, so but I just never got into it. Dude, never, that fucking episode of Portland, Sackhoff, was the epic. one with her and, and Edward James. The yeah. It was good, but I it, just the original to me is always, you know, that's always going to be the the best. It's no, it's no, uh, it's no Buck Rogers. I tell you that. That's yeah, true. That, <laughs> that's true. That, that was it. It was, it was either Buck Rogers <laughs> or fucking uh, yeah, B to B to Hey Buck. That's all. Buck. <laughs> hey Buck. And then all was right. it what was it Twiggy that was the B to B to B robot? Twiggy. Twiggy. That's it. Twiggy. Twiggy. <laughs> I was trying to find the figure that the figure is fucking like loose is like fucking two hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I saw it at, at Comic Con. They had a, a pretty big statue of it. It was pretty. It was. I think they were selling it for something. They always like carried that. the doctor like a fucking M. Like he was fucking Flavor Flav and shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had the big ass fucking like just the pendant. The doctor would right. fucking talk to them. That was great. All right, uh, I'm gonna go quickly on some sh uh, some uh, some toys that are coming out. I got some of my pre-orders I got coming out this year. I just go qu go quickly through them. We got some GI Joes coming up. Uh, nice. yeah, we got a uh, Quick Kick, one of my favorite characters from the, oh, cool. the original original show. And if you can see right there, he has um, his little chocolate bar. Uh, oh you, god, uh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was a great character because he would just like quote movies and like you know wisecracking, and he would you know quote Cagney and like all these like old school movies. So uh, yeah, he was one of my favorite oh, characters. Oh, sorry, I just got the, I just got a chance to look at it. Sorry, 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 sorry. That looks sick. <laughs> it looks really cool. Yeah, I got that on pre order. Uh, I got uh, Big Boa on pre order. Oh. Uh, Big Boa. So the the story on Big Boa is that he uh, they originally were going to have Rocky Balboa as a character in GI Joe, just like they did Sergeant Slaughter in the oh. fridge. Uh, but uh, they uh, Stallone signed a deal for the uh, the Rambo cartoon and Rambo toy license. So so they scrapped the idea. So they just made Big Boa, who was supposed to, was supposed to be Rocky Balboa. So that, now that uh, so they put a helmet on his uh, figure and he's still like a boxing type character. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's the story on Big Bow. I got that the, one of my favorite figures from the original line too. Uh, couple, let me see. Uh, let me see Quick Kick again. Sorry, it's just I want to see like all the. Yeah, it comes with the little candy bars. Yeah, like, that's that's right. Is that a middle finger on down on the bottom? No, or? no, it's just a, no. That's the that's the peg. <laughs> oh, God, I thought it was like I. That would have been cool though if it were a middle finger. That's like that he, he go, yeah, I like that he comes with two heads. But what's the two difference? Heads. The other head doesn't look that much looks, different. Uh, looks like more of the longer hair on him. Oh, I think that, just no, the, it's the hair. It's, 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 it's I, not I facial. It looks like more. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Maybe it's a, it's, a, it's a, these are not final images. These are like yeah. the renders, so we might get some more stuff. Uh, but yeah, one of my favorite characters uh, from the cartoon. Yeah, got his nunchucks, got his swords, got this candy bar. That's fucking. Cool. Uh, yeah. I just like it. Uh, has a, it comes with a candy bar. <laughs> That's really like the it, best part. That's a, <laughs> one of the greatest accessories ever in a toy. Oh, yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, a couple su uh, Super Seven uh, Super Seven pickups too. I got pre-ordered. Uh, I got, uh, the, of course, the best weekend of G.I. Joe. We got the Baroness. These are the seven-inch oh, wow. scale uh, Baroness, one of my favorite uh, characters um, uh, from the uh, from the cartoon. Uh, so this is loaded. This is the uh, loaded with all kinds of accessories. You know, she's got the onk from the, oh, I forgot that. Uh, it was like the Atlantean episode. And then uh, like a chalice. The, the, the little basket with the snake with the little darts. I think the dart would shoot out darts and stuff. Uh, a like little grenade and stuff. Uh, different, three different head sculpts. Yeah, Baroness one definitely one of my favorite. This version of Baroness is prime Baroness for me. And then uh, lastly, uh, from Super Seven, I got the the Hank Scorpio a pre ordered. I've had this pre ordered for a while. Uh, <laughs> this, this is going to be the last uh, last of the Simpsons wave. 
the the Super Seven's not going to do Disney. They don't have the Disney license anymore, so the, this will be like the one of the last, final Simpsons thing they did. Which I'm happy they did Hank Scorpio because he's one of my favorite characters of all time <laughs> from the Simpsons. So I'm glad they uh, they I got this. Uh, they got this in before they uh, they lost the license. Uh, so yeah, they're not doing any more Disney stuff, which is kind of a bummer. They had some cool looking uh, stuff coming out from uh, Disney, but uh, I guess it wasn't selling uh, as well as they would hope. So, and and the price point is very uh, expensive for these figures. So that I think that's kind of a turnoff for a lot of folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, by twenty dollars cheaper, maybe it, w- it wouldn't be the, an issue. But it's you know they're a small company, so they have to charge what they charge. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's some of my preview of toys right. coming out. Very cool. And, and some of the work on their toys is a hell of a lot better than I've seen on others, dude. Like, like yeah, uh, they put a lot of love. McFarlane's. In it. Yeah, they put a lot of love. And uh, McFarlane has gotten a lot better. They're st- no, like the, I'm still so shitting on them for all the bad shit that they gave us. For, for, yeah, yeah, they definitely shit the bed on uh, the early stuff, but they they've improved. A million miles, uh, so definitely uh, some cool stuff coming out of there. Uh, that's just uh, some of my uh, uh, some of my pre-orders I got going. Uh, and uh, let's see, uh, Lori, Lori, you pick, you pick up any uh, any uh, you got any pre-orders going on for any? Uh, nothing that I know. Nothing that I know. I mean, I usually wait till Comic Con to see what's coming out with that. You know, obviously the uh, exclusives down there and uh, what's happening with that stuff. But the only thing I ever really picked up was my, my Bubo figure. And the, you know, that, that to me is my prized possession. It's like, I don't really need anything else but that. So. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's jump quickly to and talk a little bit about comics. So we are at SF combo co. Uh, so a couple of cool things coming out this year. A uh, couple of, I just pulled a couple, a um, um, couple of random things. Uh, we got Garth Ennis uh, doing uh, James Bond. Oh, nice. uh, so the you know he did the boys and uh, a great run on the Punisher. Uh, he's doing uh, Double Seven James Bond, and this is going to be more of uh, in line with the books. Uh, if you read any of those Ian Fleming books, they're a little oh cool. nice. They're pretty hardcore, and they're pretty. James Bond doesn't fuck around in those movies. Uh, he's not you know he's more of a fucking more of a killer badass. Uh, so this is coming from Garth Ennis. This should be coming out soon. Uh, uh, this is uh, what is this? Uh, what company is this again? I think it was it IDW. ID, is it IDW? No, that's what I'm asking. Uh, it feels like an IDW book or uh, Garth Ennis. Uh, Dynamite. Dynamite's doing mm. this one and again. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, you know he did uh, yeah, he Garth Ennis. Go read some of the. He did the Boys, Preacher, Punisher. So yeah, this should be a fun one. Nice. Uh, Let's see. And we got what else is coming? Uh, Sin City's coming back also. Oh, Sin wow. City. Uh, Frank Miller's going jumping back into the Sin City world. Uh, there's a new book coming out very soon uh, from Frank Miller. Uh, Frank Miller has been kind of hit or miss the last uh, few years for me. So uh, maybe going back to uh, Sin City is a good thing for him. Yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's coming out. That's a new Frank Sin, Sin City coming out. And we get the fall of X coming. Uh, this is what I have the yes. banner on. Uh, so, so this oh, wow. is coming out. The X Men is the Krokoa era is over, and the X Men are scattered. It's brutal. Uh, the the Hellfire Gala, are like most of the the X Men, got fucking brutalized. They're kind of scattered all over the world now. Uh, so then the, this is going to see them kind of rebuilding and trying to see where they go. Uh, I'm skeptical on this stuff because I really enjoyed what Jonathan Hickman is doing with the house of X and stuff. Uh, but um, it's, I'm interested to see what, what they, what they, what they're trying to come up with. Um, Karen Gillian is one of the writers. She's, um, uh, she's a really good writer. So I'm looking forward to that. Interesting. Skybound, uh, the Skybound Energon universe coming out soon. Uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, this is the, the Transformers GI Joe crossover. Uh, Cobra Commander comes out, I believe, this week. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Rick, uh, Rick, any uh, uh, any uh, word on your uh, any, any comics you're looking forward to? Yeah, Fall of X, man. I mean, just if you put that shot back up, fucking Cy- that Cyclops. Cyclops, yeah. That fucking. Uh, I like that pose. Yeah. That <laughs> love that pose, man, and like oh, yeah. he. He's he's like front and center, like, and I love mm-hmm. I love Xavier just standing over him like that, like yeah. Like, yeah. Doom, like, Doom kind of like called him out. Too. Doom called out uh, Xavier, and like he's be, he's be kind of becoming a villain, and uh, Doom kind of called uh, called him out, <laughs> and like he kind of uh, kind of kind of checked him when uh, the X Men visited uh, Latveria to find mutants. Uh, but yeah, Cyclops is on trial right now because he got uh, they got revealed uh, for some shit and. 
it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting stuff so um uh, yeah cyclops is a badass uh, so uh waiting to see what they go what comes out of this for sure yeah that's pretty much like ever since the whole uh krakoa thing like this is after krakoa uh so the only drawback i i, I knew it was jonathan hickman was already done that's why i was hoping that he would be the one bringing it down that that's the problem sometimes where they, when they do the shift in the storyline, like it's too much of a fucking fall and where, where the next person is going to pick it up from and, and take over and go forward from there. Yeah. I, I'm, uh, just, I'm just worried of that. I don't want them to go back to just the blue and blue and gold team in the mansion, like the standard status quo. Mm -hmm. I want to see him progress the storyline. That's why I like the Crocola storyline because they were doing something. They're looking different. for home. Yeah. So hopefully they, they this comes, I, I don't want them going back, which worries me. They might go back to the mansion and, how many times are you gonna blow up that fucking mansion? Right. Mansion's been blown up fucking so many goddamn times. Uh, so uh, it, it's a, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. I, I'm waiting for uh, Maddie Ice to give me some updates. But I got the first news uh, of uh, Fallen X, uh, Fall of X, and uh, Rise of X. So, so much it, in the cos cosmic universe, you know, in the, in the cosmic universe at Marvel, they can't fucking like, just make a planet, put it close to Earth, so they can survive like one on the other opposite side of the fucking lake yeah well they took over mars so that's a, a, a crackle yeah. a crackle so that, it's yeah uh let's see hondo the honda lorian so what's up y'all still waiting for my neca uh no mezco my friend mezco dr doom uh, <laughs> uh actually uh mine's coming tomorrow hopefully uh mine's uh, on the truck right now and uh, i should be getting my mezco dr doom tomorrow Very it's, christmas. it's christmas and fucking the 17th goddamn yeah, pretty much. I'm super juicy. I was I was hoping it would come. It would have been on my list uh, for uh, 2023, but it's uh, it's might be on the list from the next year. Uh, I just uh, got the artist edition of John Byrne X Men after shot on Kayfabe uh, was a must buy. Yeah, those artist editions are pretty cool. You just uh, they basically just they're the size of what the artist drew on the original. Oh, paper. Wow. And they get scans of the original pages, so you're looking at the original art before it gets all inked and colored and all that stuff. So you mm -hmm. see the base, base drawing, and it's really cool to see this art like in its infant stages, like right when the artist puts the stage. It's like the purest form, uh, the purest cool. form of art. It's they're really cool. They're very they're expensive and they're huge. So I don't have any artist editions just because I don't fucking have the room. They're cool as fuck to look at, but uh, I just yeah they're expensive and they are fucking huge and it's kind of. Uh, kind of hard to <laughs> put them uh, i don't have the space for them but they're yeah. cool. i'll go to hondo's place and just look and stare at them for an hour. there you go uh hondo franklin miller franklin miller uh john hickman's ultimate spider-man is getting a lot of love right now yeah I, i've heard about that yeah uh, i heard the all the i heard the ultimates are back ultimate the, universe is back yeah, yeah it's kind of bringing them back it's a uh, it's um interesting lineup of characters it's like iron lad and uh reed richards has he's the new doctor doom and uh, it's uh, I have the first issue. I haven't read it yet, but it looks interesting. Uh, it's because uh, Reed, uh, if you remember the Ultimate Universe, Reed Richards ended up being like one of the major villains coming out of that. What was he? Mm. The, the Maker, whatever the fuck he was called. He came out as one of the major villains in the, the Ultimate Universe. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. I, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with anything uh, Jonathan Hickman because he's he's a really good writer. Does he have uh, creative control over that whole thing? I believe so, yeah. So as long as he has uh, control, yeah. And he, the, the only reason to let him doing it is because Jonathan Hickman. He he, he brings uh, uh he brings all the boys to the yard. Uh, uh, Hondo, yeah. Oh yeah, Mesco. My bad. Yeah. How dare you, Hondo? Yeah. Hondo. Come on, duh. Marvel's <laughs> Jeff Johns. Yeah. Uh, any books are you looking forward to? Like uh, actual books or anything, Laurie? Are you looking forward to in uh, twenty? Um, no, uh, I don't think so. I know there's. Oh, um. Not that I remember there. I don't know if there's any autobiographies that are coming out or anything like that. Um, I think I got the ones like the Henry Winkler one and, and the um, the uh, Werner Herzog one I got when I went to go see them uh, live. But other than that, those are the only ones that, that I really kind of were looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. So we covered comics, covered toys, covered TV. All right. Let's go to the big dog uh, movies. Uh, we love our movies, uh, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go split screen on this. We're kind of just gonna go through and kind of look at the uh, look at the movie slate and kind of like. Um, Let's all go to the lobby. And we'll kind of. Uh, 
kind of go through the list of movies coming out and kind of like you know if something pops out to you and you want to talk about it let's talk about it uh but yeah we got a lot of, a lot of cool shit coming out uh we already passed january so we can but, uh, but go go back to january because there is one movie you guys have to see this go watch society of the snow like i don't know if you guys ever watched the movie alive mm -mm. Uh, is that is that the one that's like is it danish or is it no uh... it's spanish it's about oh, okay. the it's about the it's the seventy two Uruguayan uh, rugby team that oh oh crashed, oh 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 right I'd heard about that in the okay. Andes and survived seventy two days wow in what, the what, Andes what uh, uh, Society of the Snow on Netflix the good okay. thing is uh, it has uh, English it's it's shot in Spanish J A Bayona did it so a great great directed man it's it, it's just it's a sad movie, but it's great, right. dude. That it's the it's the the surviving human spirit. I love I love those movies. Right. Okay. So this is a remake of Alive, or is this just no? It, well, it's the, it's another it's the telling of it. It's a more in depth. Of, like wow. Alive just goes from them taking off on the plane, tells you what they're doing, and then it crashes, and then they get rescued. This goes a little bit further deeper into like the the psyche of like how how they're dealing with shit and. How much more shit they actually really had to deal with, you know? It, it's it's right. a little bit more horrendous. Alive was alive. Alive feels like the after school special. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, so this yeah, that's a good movie, man. All right. That's uh yeah. We got the this this lack past weekend at the Beekeeper. Um, <laughs> girls do not care about. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's go through. Are we making that shit? Fuck. What Mean Girls? It's yeah. a musical. Now with songs. Uh, so, yeah, like if you see some, we're going to kind of just go through these. If you see anything to stop on, please let me know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a lot, a lot of these, I don't, a lot of this, some of these are like Netflix movies. I have no idea. Oh, The Underdogs, that's the, uh, the Snoop Dogg movie. Uh, yeah, like a, no. Which that looks like, yeah, they, they deserve yeah. to go straight to the video now. Yeah. Uh, no. Argo, oh, definitely. Argo, one, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this, Matthew Vaughn. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is uh, the only thing that kind of turns me off is PG 13, but uh, I'm, I'm okay with that, I guess. Yeah, uh, but this looks uh, the cast looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, look, I, I like a little uh, mystery. Uh, this, this is a, definitely a must watch for sure. Yeah, the cast for sure. And it's, I mean, it still has that, um, the uh, vibes of the um, oh my god, I'm blanking 007. No, the what did he do? The Kingsman. Thank you. The yeah. Kingsman, he's, it's definitely got Kingsman vibe and it's got, you know, it, it just, I love the, like you said, the duality of the writer that's writing and then everything is happening. It's, it's great. And the cast, I mean, you can't go wrong with that cast. I mean, yeah, Sam yeah. Rockwell and Henry yeah, Cavill. Sam Rockwell and everything. Uh, yeah. You know, Henry Cavill, you got John Cena, you got Samuel <laughs> Jackson. Um, you know, it's, it's just a hell of a cast right here. Yeah. yeah. Definitely looking forward to this. Good uh, actor and director. Right. <laughs> yeah, Bryce Dallas, exactly. Yeah, Bryce Dallas yeah. is great. Yeah, I, great, needs, great actress, great director. She needs yeah. a yeah. She should direct. A, she should be directing a Star Wars movie. Not yes. I agree. Not Hold that me. man hater. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hater, uh, man. Just a hater. Lisa Frankenstein. I've kind of heard a little bit about this one. Which one? Uh, Lisa Frankenstein. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when Guillermo del Toro's come out comes out. That's going to be insane. Uh, Inio, is this about? Um, um, oh, uh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, I want to see like that. It. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah, like he's, I, yeah, it looks like he's composing. He's one of my. That's one of my favorite composers. Is, like, is, it, a do, is it a docu or is a? Uh, looks like it's an actual movie. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard be. of this one. Oh, I want to see that. All right, that's on, that's uh, that's going on the list now. Yeah, that's on the list. Yeah, I, I've never even heard of that one. I wonder if it's a foreign. I'm glad composers are getting their due right now, man. Yeah, yeah. thank God. Coming out. Yeah. I'm glad that they're getting their due. Fucking, I can't wait for the fucking John Williams biopic. That's yeah. Hey, That's motherfucker he probably like he's probably this era's fucking Beethoven if you trip on it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize how much he's done. I mean, if you look at his, I had his. It's just mind blowing to go. Oh, yeah, holy crap, he's done so much. And the same thing with Ennio Mar Marconi is is. It's, uh, it's a documentary. It's a no, documentary. documentary. Yeah, That's still I, I, good. I'll still watch it. I'm still, I'm still down with that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. 
Let's oh, see. the Bob Marley one actually. One Love kind of that's on the 14th. That looks interesting. That movie looks horrible. <laughs> I, mean, I love Bob Marley. I don't know if it that yeah. that's yeah. That movie looks um, so cheap and just not the vibe Bar Marley fucking gave out, man. It just yeah. looks I, I, check, I just want to check it out because homeboy from fucking uh Secret Invasions in it, so yeah, yeah not, I like uh, that actor. I don't know. I just look I, some of those biopics look so cookie cutter it's, and they're so like movie of the week. Fucking nobody can win, nobody should win fucking Academy Awards for biopics. That's why I like uh that's why I like Rocket Man because it went it went R. It went R it went R because Elton John's life was not a PG 13. It life. should and, uh, and so should have uh Bohemian Rhapsody should have been R too, but you no, know. a cookie a cookie cutter life of these rock stars. Wait a minute, is that PG? That's PG thirteen. Uh, I think it is actually. Oh, everybody's life is rated R. Yeah, yeah th that's what. Like, they, uh, it doesn't make any sense. Life is rated R. I don't go shit. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like Rocket Man the most because it, it went R. It went it went to the places where you know. It went yeah. Uh, let's see. One love. I bet she's fucking PG thirteen. I get a fucking. I know it. Uh, one love. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, uh, that album's one of my favorites too. So yeah. it's you know, I, I like I like Homeboy from um, he played Gravik in Secret Invasion. Oh yeah, yeah. he's a good actor. I like him. He's a, a good lot, actor. Yeah. That's the that's he's probably the main reason I want to see this. Yeah, I don't I don't see a rating on this yet. It might it might not have a rating yet. Uh, yeah. but, I have a feeling it's gonna be PG thirteen. Uh, th oh, this one! I, everyone's excited about this one, <laughs> Madam Web uh, from the Sony Spider Man universe, which has not produced like the only decent movie was probably maybe the first Venom movie, maybe. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this looks really bad, uh, and that yeah, th this the trailer did not make me excited for anything. The only thing I'm excited about is Sydney Sweeney because she's smoking up uh but yeah this movie looks really bad just another l for the Sp spider-man verse yeah. uh from sony uh you know like craven animated if it's not animated from sony for any comes to spider-man I, yeah i don't trust it yeah this looks yeah this does not look good. <laughs> uh let's see why why let's see why, let's, why? Uh, let's keep going in uh february uh, why <laughs> Right oh, oh Dune, me. that's right. Dune part two. Dune part two, yep. I know J Rick's use on this one. That um, I can't like oh my I, have you guys seen the trailers for Dune Part Two? It looks fucking pretty sick. I saw it for the first time uh, in the theater, the trailer, so that was cool to see. Yeah, that looks dude, really fucking good. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, everybody's gonna see how much of a badass fucking Paul Atreides is, dude. He he's like this, he's this story's Luke Skywalker, except He's not gonna go out like fucking and just like you know force ghost this shit. He, <laughs> he doesn't go. He he fucking goes all out. Paul is sick, dude. He he's one of those characters that like when you when you see him and you read about him, it's like this guy's sick. Like Harry Potter turned out to be like sick. Like this guy's fucking. He's a savage, dude. Like I get mad yeah. when they show him crying in the movie. I'm like that kid never cried. <laughs> I, I don't think I've read the book. I never. Oh, McLaughlin never he cried. He never cried. <laughs> right. He heard the Sarah McLaughlin song. He didn't cry. <laughs> no. Uh, Hannah, any good Terror Tuesday or Weird Wednesdays coming? Up? I got Cobra coming up in a couple weeks. Uh, on the tw actually mm -hmm. next week, yeah, twenty fourth, Cobra. Looking forward to that one. Uh, they're do they're doing the Evil Dead trilogy in February. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, so that um, I might try to make it to Army of Darkness. We gotta look at some Monday. Do they have anything on Monday nights? Uh, yeah, they've been showing a, a bunch of random shit. Uh, they're showing Cemetery Man, which is like um, oh wow, Edward Everett. It's like an Italian. It, it looks like almost like um, Dead Alive. Like a, it's like mm -hmm. from like ninety four. It's like a, a a romance zombie fucking like it's fucking looks insane. I saw the trailer for. They're showing that a couple times. Uh, next month, I'm kind of curious about that one. I've never, I've never even seen that one. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Uh, respectfully disagree about uh, about bio Oscars. See, Jick Cheney played by uh, Kristen Bale and Bush played by Rockwell. Or well, I think we're talking about rock bio uh, movies, right? No, I'm just yeah, talking about. Bio. I'm, I'm kind of just talking about biopics in general because you have you have a basis to work from. It's mm. pretty much you're, you're you're doing an impression of them in a way. Yeah. Uh, Kristen Bale and fucking. Uh, that movie's fucking really good, man. That fucking the Vice, that, that movie's... Oh, yeah. Really yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christian Bale and Daniel Day-Lewis set those guys aside. There's other people <laughs> that won fucking awards for biopics that I'm just like, no. 
Like I'm glad, that's why I'm glad Will, Will Smith has done it to try to go for the 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 Oscar and he fucking didn't get it. Rick yeah. for this movie for sure. Yeah, that's what people do them. They get they try to go for the Oscar. Uh, karaoke. Rick, are we ready for karaoke the movie? Oh, <laughs> Can we sing while we're doing the? Th- while we're in oh, the that's theater? right, Ghostbusters. I forgot about yeah, that. The Rick, the Rick movie. Uh, we got the Roadhouse uh, remake uh, coming. Oh yeah, with Jake, with Gyll- Jake Gyllenhaal. I uh, don't know about that one. I don't know if Jake Gyllenhaal can pull off uh, Dalton. Dalton. <laughs> he has to be somebody else, man. I, I've, I've kind of turned a little bit around on uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. He was definitely on my list of uh, people I didn't like, but he, oh, uh, he's he's a great actor. Nightcrawler turned me around on him. Yeah, again, mm. Nightcrawler. So I, I'll, I'll be curious to hear word of mouth on Roadhouse. Roadhouse is a classic. Uh, I don't know. That's why I don't want it remade because it's a classic. It's it's too much of a it's just like it's like Go lightning in a bottle. You can't, you can't recapture that, mm-hmm. that, that 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 vibe in that movie. I'm saying vibe too much. Uh, so, uh, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. Yes. Uh, the more I see about this movie, uh, yes. and uh, the fact they're incorporating the original Ghostbusters more and more, like I've seen more. Like Empire just had a big story about them uh, uh, recently, uh, kind of sh- sh- saying their roles in the next movie. Uh, mm-hmm. Which gets me uh, pretty excited, and um, and uh, I read an interview today with the director, uh, and he's being he's he's being influenced by the real Ghostbusters, the cartoon, oh, nice. uh, yes, so, which is a fucking one of my favorite cartoons from the eighties. Uh, this is like probably on top of my list for twenty twenty four as far as like movies or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, Frozen Empire. This looks, I'm glad they're incorporating the original Ghostbusters more in this one. Looks like they're having a bigger role than just a cameo at the end of the right. movie. Uh, and we're back to the firehouse. We got Slimer back. Uh, we're going to get some more weird uh, wacky ghost. Uh, and uh, and we're going to get you know everybody kind of together in a big team up movie. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. The more I see this, the more excited I am for yeah, this. I'm, too. I'm, I'm super juiced for this. Yeah, I can't wait for this. Uh, the moment I saw the fucking uh, trailer, that's the vibe I got from it. Yeah. It was uh, a, it was a Ghostbusters animated series cartoon, the real Ghostbusters. Yeah. Uh, so I can't, I can't wait. I fucking yeah. love that cartoon, and there's a lot of. I'm just hoping that we see like some kind of Easter egg, some fucking kid's closet door that fucking opens and. We hear that voice. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh my god. I fucking go. I fucking go creepy fucking in the theater, bro. It's so creepy. But yeah, there's so many fucking great villains, and uh, this is the vibe I totally got from it. I can't wait for this movie. I really can't. Wait. I, the first time yeah. I saw it, I got super excited for this. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. I'm. 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 Ju- this is the one I want. This is the one. Yeah. Like, Afterlife was really good, and I, I loved what it was. But this is the. I want the firehouse. I want Slimer. I want the original Ghostbusters. I want them fucking. And they. And then you tell me that you're gonna uh, pull from real Ghostbusters. I'm. 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 I'm juiced for this. I can't. I can't be more ecstatic for a movie than this one. This is definitely on top of my list of a uh, uh, must watch for me. Uh, no doubt. Now let's see. Let's double remember that one. God, so look, uh, X Kong New Empire. Yep. Uh, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the last Godzilla, uh, uh, the Godzilla Kong movie. I thought the Godzilla Kong stuff was good, but I did not like the fucking, um, I did not like the design of Mecha Godzilla. Uh, and the fights were cool, but the, the design was, and you know what? I I, I heard I, I somebody told me too that the guy who designed the Ready Player One Mega Godzilla designed the fucking Godzilla versus Kong one also. Oh, interesting. So, what the fuck, dude? You have a good I, design. I totally understand, and this is why you don't get the same person. They don't want to do... Nobody wants to they do the same work twice. Yeah, which is, yeah. But dude, you like... Dude, they should have yeah. got somebody else in that case because they some they some they're not going to do the same thing twice. You did the cooler one for that movie over this yeah. one? Not cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And Monarch, watching Monarch just makes me more juiced for this. Like I'm, uh, it's mm-hmm. the it's the year, years of year of Godzilla and Kong. So I'm, I'm totally juiced for this now. Quest- I- questions: Does anything uh, for the new villain in uh, this movie? Do they expand any in the Monarch series on that or no? Well, the, the Monarch series takes place before. Um, yeah, it takes but place after 2014, we, and it takes place before uh, before this uh, before the first Godzilla, before King of the Monsters. It takes right, place, so, so it's it's a pre, it's kind of a prequel, and they kind of fill in the gaps of yeah. uh, certain, uh, certain storylines and how they got from point A to point B. So okay, but uh, right. interesting. I wonder if they're going to incorporate some stuff from. That's uh, what I was thinking too. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, it's curious to see. So I'm 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 more juiced for this. 
Uh, the trailers look fun. Uh, so mm-hmm. uh, let's see on that one. Yeah. Uh, Kung Fu Panda. I was never like a huge fan. I, I, I do. Like I like the one. first two, but you, yeah. you, you kind of lose your luster. Yeah. Right. The first one, it was kind of charming. It was kind of a, you know, fun story. It just kind of like, kind of Money gets rap. repetitive. Like what a lot of some of these uh, cartoon sequels. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah. Heck Rebel yeah. Moon part two. <laughs> uh, this is the Netflix uh, Zack Snyder movie. How uh, is that? I, 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 didn't, I didn't watch it. I, I'm waiting for the director's cut, which is coming in the oh, summer. Oh for... man, it's Did you watch uh, it. Yeah, I watched it. What'd you think? Uh, I I want to see the director's cut to see your. Know, <laughs> I don't understand why you would chop your own movie when you have full autonomy. It's it, they're trying to manufacture a Snyder cut bullshit. They try they're trying to do like a manufacture like oh there's a director's cut and we want people to demand a director's cut and shit. So they're trying to ma- manufacture that fucking that uh, mm-hmm. that situation. Just, just release the fucking movie the first time because yeah. like my whole thing is like it, there's gonna be a lot more. It just tells me that you're a bad editor. Yeah, that's all it tells me because you can't yeah. edit the same story into a condensed version. You need. Yeah. And especially that at least another hour is going to be what half an hour worth of slow mo. Come on, <laughs> come on. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I wait for the director's cut to watch it. That's why I was like, well, I'm like, I already, I already knew they're going to be directors. I, I, I like Zack Snyder when he when he he's off the chain. So um, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, wait, I'll, wait, I'll wait for the uh, director's cut. It's it screens are it screens kind of cool. Girl's badass though. Mm-hmm. She's fucking sick, dude. That's fucking, a girl uh, from uh, the, from Kingsman. From the, right? the Kingsman, yes. She's she's fucking she's a you know what she reminds me of as as far as like an action star, uh, she gives me like Mila Jovovich vibes, dude. Oh, she's fucking okay. Fifth Element badass, dude. Fucking Lilu going ham on people. She's sick. <laughs> she is sick, dude. That's like the only thing that's pretty cool. He can know good director can film a fight scene. He should be a fucking director of photography on a lot of movies. I don't think he can storytell. Yeah, he's not the best storyteller, but but yeah. visuals uh, in his movie. I visuals, love, great. Yeah, visuals are great. Yeah, great. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm a Zack Snyder apologist. I, I like Zack. Snyder. Yeah, I like no, I like Zack Snoop. I like Zack too, but th- this it's dude. This is not like sucker punch level. <laughs> you know. Uh, we got Civil War. Uh, this is the the new uh, this movie. Uh, have you seen the trailer for this one, Lori? Mm-mm. Uh, this is watch uh, it. This is a this is pretty much. Uh, what where we're kind of going towards, like, yeah, there's an actual oh. modern day civil war. Wow, the red and blue states are kind of going at it, and it's kind of like there's a pre, um, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, N- uh, Nick Offerman plays the president and divided the fucking country, and like now oh, there's wow. like, now there's a civil war going on. Uh, so it's kind of pretty, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty uh, apropos that this is coming out in an election. Wow. Uh, so this looks very like interesting like I, I i didn't like i remember hearing about this movie the, then i we saw the trailer on the big screen i was like oh yeah. shit, this is this is gonna be that kind of movie okay and this looks a turn of life <laughs> yeah, this is, like this is it gonna be intense this is gonna be a big one uh so this is uh yeah this is gonna be interesting yeah i'm, I'm kind of uh, uh, curious to see how people react to this on both sides of the uh, right on this one like how people are gonna how people are gonna interpret what uh, what this means for our society <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, it's a lot a lot of it in that one interaction with like the jesse plemons character oh, yeah that's what a lot of minorities feel like yeah right? it was like, I'm, I'm an american uh what, 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 kind, of what, american. what kind of what kind of american are you yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's, that's the trip that's a, it's gonna be interesting man I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in this movie that's definitely one of the uh movies i'm very interested in seeing interesting yeah. Yeah. Alex, alex garland right uh, yeah, and who did yeah. Ex Machina, and uh, yeah, he's a, he's a very filmmaker, man. Yeah, he's a very thought provoking, smart filmmaker, and yeah, his movies are always very interesting for sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, The Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling. <laughs> uh, Why? Yeah. Why? Well, what first of all, people don't know what the Fall Guy is. Like, you, like unless you grew up in that era. <laughs> yeah. Then why why even choose that? Go fuck, go fucking make Boy Meets World the movie and shit. Then man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. lord! Why? I, I can't. I don't. I mean, yeah, Fall Guy wasn't one of the shows I watched when I was a kid, but uh, I know of it. This but. is what scares me because, like, there's a lot of shows out there that w- do deserve a good uh, movie treatment update, 
like streets of San Francisco would be great. Mm-hmm. I fucking constantly say that the streets of San Francisco would fucking be awesome. Mm-hmm. I still have Michael Douglas as a retired fucking police chief or something, or you know, disgraced cop or what, whatever. But great story. They would fucking turn it into chips. <laughs> yeah, probably, and, or make it a spoof or something like or that. Twenty one Jump Street. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, another, one, another big release this year coming up as uh, King of the Planet of the Apes. Um, the trailer hasn't, like, a lot of people are, this is, like, on number one on a lot of people's list. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm still kind of skeptical. The effects didn't really look all that great for me. Uh, not bringing back Andy Serkis uh, to have some kind of yeah. role kind of kind of worries me also. Uh, but this could be uh, this could be good. Uh, I'm just kind of kind of worried about it. It's an important movie, man. This, yeah. is the direct, this is the director who has control of The Legend of Zelda. Oh, really? Mm. Yep. That's huge. So for me, and I know a lot of Nintendo fans are going in. Just from that shot alone, based on the games that we're playing right now, we have hope. But this is going to base a lot of shit. Like me, I, 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 I don't know. I wouldn't have picked that director. I would have picked somebody else. Like I would have for, for Zelda or for Planet for like for the Legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. This well, this yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah. the way this looks would look cool, cool shots. But like you said, the CG. I don't want Zelda to be super CG'd, mm-hmm. or or have good go go get Wingnut Studios to fucking do the C, the CG. The Weta go get Weta to do the fucking. Yeah, I think they should do animated. I don't think you should do fuck with live action. No, you should do live action. You can't. You can't. You can't. They went from the animated look in the game. To a to to a more of like a, a real look, the, this is what the fa- the fans have been craving for it. A lot of people are like, oh, doing like a Studio Ghibli movie. No, <laughs> you don't want Studio Ghibli. Like, I, I don't want a I don't want a cutesy little Zelda movie. Like Zelda's an epic story, dude. It doesn't have to be fucking like Shadows of Mordor or anything, but it it, it gets dark at times. There are dark things happening in the fucking the land of Hyrule, bro. Yeah. Uh, Rick goes off on his uh, uh, Zelda ranch. Uh, this is um, if uh, imaginary friends, this is the John Krasinski movie. I haven't seen the trailer on this one. Oh, but, interesting. Yeah, it's kind of dealing with it's uh, what was that? What was the, the one uh, kind of kind of people were kind of comparing it to? Um, yeah, uh, I like John Krasinski. the Babadook. <laughs> I think it's more of a family friendly one, right? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, this, okay. Uh, I haven't seen the trailer yet, but uh, people, uh, I like John Krasinski. I think he's a mm-hmm. uh, untapped. Oh, it kind of looks like a Monsters Inc. kind of. Yeah, thing. I think Monsters Inc. Yeah. Yeah. are kind of comparing it too, so like a live action Monsters Inc. kind of vibe to it. Uh, so, yeah. um, Furiosa, Mad Max. Uh, yep. uh, that's up there the for list. me. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely uh, want to see that. Uh, George Miller. I like the fact that he's in his late eighties and just like fuck it, I'm going to just do all this crazy shit. And like, you know, <laughs> like, I like uh, I like unhinged directors, uh, yeah. and he's kind of doing his thing. And uh, the trailer looked a lot of fun. I was uh, I was I was I was in, man. I like Anatella Joy. Chris Emsworth looks like he's chewing up the scenery, and uh, he's kind of going going all out, fucking uh, uh, villain wise. Uh, so yeah. I'm, I'm 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 actually. Have you seen the trailer on this one, Lori? I did. I I enjoyed it. I was uh, like you said, the Hemsworth just kind of goes uh, almost like Mel Gibson on it to a certain extent, and then with that just craziness, and he does. He totally chooses. It it, it took me a minute before I realized it was him. I was like, oh my god, that's because he doesn't quite look like himself, but he kind of does because yeah, I just like got the long hair, and like a mustache. So he kind yeah, of, yeah. You know, but I, I looked. It did have that same Mag, Mad Max feel to it, and I mean, just some of the the characters and the costumes and everything looks just unbelievable. And like you said, which George, George Miller, you know, has always had a reputation for being uh, kind of one of those directors, like a renegade director that doesn't give a shit about anything. He'll just do whatever he wants, and and he's you know successful at that. So yeah. good for him, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool that they're giving like you know like what's it, Francis Ford Coppola? He's doing his uh, was he doing uh, Metropolis or what the fuck is he doing? Uh, uh, I think it's uh, it's mega. It's like mega like, mega top megapolis or something like that. Megapolis or something. Yeah. Like that. Megalopolis. Yeah. And it's a uh, self funded. He's just gonna like I've, I've been. This is his dream project. He wants to do it before he dies. So I'm yeah. I'm all for like directors getting the getting to do their uh, what they want to do at later yeah. in life. And, like I, I'm curious to see what. Uh, uh, Spielberg does in his later years, man. Just kind yeah. of balls out. The, the, I hope he doesn't retire. I, I just want him to keep going. You know, I, you know, 
you know, hey, fucking uh, Clint Eastwood made movies until you know he was. Yeah. He said, I think he's still um, making movies. Shit, at this point. I think mm-hmm. the last one was the Mule. Yeah. Uh, Garfield movie, we're skipping that. I, yeah. Yeah, enough with it. Uh, Ballerina, I'm kind of excited. I like Anna de Armas. Uh, this is set in the um, in the John Wick universe. Uh, oh, that's so, right. Yeah, this takes place uh, between John Wick three and four. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of uh, like worried about because that that Continental show looks fucking cheap as fuck on Peacock. Uh, like I can't, like I saw the trailer. I'm like, this looks like super bootleg. Fucking like like you going from the John Wick universe to this? The just, Smallville. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it just doesn't feel it didn't like the trailers have not like got and I hear nobody talking about it. Uh, so but this is uh ballerina, like uh, this is part of this is John Wick's clan pretty much. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I really like this is the clan he joined, right? Yeah, this is the uh, yeah, this is the one. Uh, was it um, yeah, the uh, the, the his, his the folks, Russian. yeah, the Russian folks. So, uh, Anna de Armas is great, like that shitty yeah. fucking uh. Marilyn Monroe movie. Uh, it, was, it was not a good movie, but she was really fucking good in it. Uh, she, I think she's very uh, underrated talent, talent, and she's fucking gorgeous. Uh, but um, yeah, that, that, I'm, I'm curious about it. I haven't. I don't think we've seen a trailer for that yet. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure we'll get one soon. Uh, but you know, John Wick. I'm, I'm, uh, and there's like rumors that John Wick's going to make a cameo in it. That's too. what I heard too. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll see. I, I'm not. You know, I'm, I'm hesitant on it, but I'm not. But I, I, I could be excited about this one. Uh, Bad Boys Four. I, have, I still haven't seen the last, the third one. I, this is, I don't really care. Uh, Inside Out Two. Do we care about this one? Yeah. I, I like the first movie. Yeah, yeah, the first one's alright. Yeah, they're what they're introducing anxiety to this <laughs> in this one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I forgot who plays anxiety, but yeah, the anxiety is going to be a, a <laughs> uh, uh, thrown in the mix. Uh, let's see, <laughs> Jim uh, Parsons. That'd be great. Okay, Sheldon. <laughs> Uh, Quiet Place Day One. Uh, this is yes. Uh, this is not directed by John Krasinski. This is uh, I forgot who the director was on this one. Uh, yeah, Quiet Place is uh, they, they were really good. I think of this, I actually like the second one more than I like the first one. Uh, yeah, quality movies, man. Yeah, I definitely like the concept. Uh, you, are you found of the the I, I don't movie? never, I haven't seen any of those actually. You should watch them. They're pretty decent. They're pretty good. They're pretty, uh, pretty, uh, kind of they're underrated. great. It's a great sci fi kind of like think of signs. But a little mm-hmm. bit more blown out and oh, more okay. dangerous alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 an interesting concept. It's it's it's, it's definitely um it's cool to see. And because like in the first movie they kind of skip they they show what happens, but they kind of skip oh, over. Okay. Like so, this is going to be like when the shit actually started happening. So oh, it's kind of okay. cool. yeah. I kind of like the beginning of like the apocalyptic movies and shit. Like kind of go back and mm-hmm. see how everything went down. Uh, yeah. So that's gonna be curious. Um, I'm, I'm curious about that one. Uh. I don't think we've seen a trailer yet for that one. Uh, no. Spickle will be. No one cares, right? No one cares. Yeah, I'm not. I, I used to like them, man, but it's just like once again, it's they're getting out of hand with them. Do, yeah. Do we need them, or yeah. is this just a money grab? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Twisters. Uh, this is a sweet sequel to Twister. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, Rick, you're juiced on this one. Fuck yeah, man. Twisters. Twister was great. I yeah. love her. I love tornadoes and the people who decide to live there and give me all the adventures. Fuck yeah, I'm interested. I can't wait I to see this. I haven't seen the, the first one in a long time. Uh, so Lee movie. Isaac Chung is directing this. Uh, he sounds familiar. What did he do? Uh, what did you say was his name? Uh, Lee, oh, sorry. Uh, Lee Isaac Chung is the director on this one. Hmm. Uh, I really don't recognize some. I'm looking at it. It looks like he's a first time director. Is he first time director? Possibly, maybe uh, I don't know. Oh, no, he's, he, he, no, he's got an uh, Academy Award for be, uh, for best director. Wow, what was that? Oh, Minari. Oh, who? oh, okay. Minari. Okay, I remember that movie. Yeah, uh, that was yeah, a big, uh, big uh, Academy Awards uh, movie. Uh, yeah, uh, I haven't watched the first Twisters in a long uh, Twister in a long time. It was like Yon the Bond, right? Yon the Bond. I believe yeah. so, yeah. And is uh, uh Helen uh, Hunt. Helen Bill Hunt Paxton. and Bill Paxton, yeah, that's right. Like in uh what what's his name? It was is in that too. He he passed away, he played Capote. I fucking can't remember. His oh name. yeah, uh, Hoffman. Phil, yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman yeah, was in there. Before, yeah, before yeah. he was like before he was big. Dusty, yeah. yeah. Wasn't Jack Black in that movie too? Uh no, Carrie Elwes is in that movie though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
It's always like Carrie Ells is like weird because you like he's in all these movies, but he's very like he's like quietly in these like a lot of these. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, big one, big one coming up July 26th, a uh, special day. Uh, I wonder whose birthday that is. <laughs> I guess, guess what we're doing that day, yeah. Um, so, uh, Deadpool 3, uh, this is the big one. I'm a little worried about this movie. Uh, I, I'm I'm a, I'm afraid we're gonna have cameo the movie. We're gonna get uh, our, right. our favorite movie of all time, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. God uh, damn it! Where he's just, hey, I'm a character from the game. Hi, I have two minutes of screen time now. Go away now. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> that's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. This is gonna uh, that's gonna turn into that. Uh, but I, I'm hoping not. Like I wasn't a big fan of Deadpool two. I thought Deadpool two was kind of uh, kind of. I didn't like their interpretation like of their characters. I didn't like the cable stuff. I didn't like the juggernaut stuff. Uh, and um, I, I, I think, I don't know. I think he was kind of smelling his own farts in that one, getting a little too full of himself. Uh, so, um, but <laughs> I, I'm hoping this is, this is going to be, you know, kind of right the ship on that. We're going to see Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine. Uh, and uh, that we're going to get a trailer uh, Super Bowl. Uh, that's uh, going to oh, be. Oh, that's right. Trailer. Uh, we're going to get a big trailer for this on Super Bowl. First, uh, for, we've, there's been a lot of behind the scenes leaks and a lot of leaks. People are living, uh, you know, shooting behind the scenes stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, Efford, you excited about this one? Yes and no. This, <laughs> this, this, yeah, is, this, is, much, this is pretty much Marvel's kind of like make or break. And this is their only movie this year, too. This is the only yeah. Marvel movie coming out this, this year. Is, this is what people theorize. And I'm not going to be upset if my theories don't fucking come true. There's going to be those con- the contingent that goes out there and fucking just lambast. Why didn't they do this? You're not a movie writer. Go fucking write a movie. Yeah. Um, but it's the cameos. Yeah. Like, I, unless, they chop, the unless they chop them in hella quick at the end or something and give us give you a movie and then I'm going to fix this at the end or, or, or some shit. There's a shit ton of people from what I've heard. Yeah. There's a shit ton of people. And or do like they do it, uh, what they did in, was it two when they had Brad Pitt and they just saw him for like a flash or something like that? Or or how Stan Lee just kind of is in the background or something like that? That's yeah. kind of. It, it's very important how they handle the, the cameos for sure. If they, yeah. If the guy, I, I just. I don't. I don't be, it's not an overreach to kind of use that movie as the fucking. As, the fucking test. This mm-hmm. is the, this is what it is. Mortal Kombat Annihilation was fucking horrible. They wanted to fit every character in the game. Hmm. Can't you just can't just throw shit at the fucking wall and hope it sticks? <laughs> what sticks exactly? Yeah, they, this but, is. That's why I like the uh, No Way Home. They handled the the can the, the handle the previous characters with like respect. They actually had a role, mm-hmm. and they actually served the story the purpose to the story. Uh, so, are we gonna get No Way Home, or are we gonna get Mortal Kombat Annihilation? That's kind of mm-hmm. where I'm like, where what are we gonna get? So, if it's just like, hey, this is a whole movie. Remember that character from that movie? Remember that character from that movie? Let's show up for a second. Now you're gone. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna see X twenty three. Yeah. We're gonna see. Oh my god, a shit ton of fucking people. We're gonna see yeah. people who probably were like supposedly cast as X Men. Yeah, we we uh, we there's like rumors Danny Radcliffe is gonna play a, a version of Wolverine. Uh, there's gonna be like uh, Taylor Swift is supposedly gonna be a uh, Dazzler. Dazzler. Oh, uh, they're gonna they're, they're which is a good casting it. actually. Actually, yeah, I, I, I can't. It's a great casting, that. and it's kind of smart too because she's like. The fucking she's huge you know, yeah the biggest thing and it's gonna bring you know but those whole, yeah. those fanatics Dazzler would be a great role it's not that too far of a stretch for her I, I love, that was a great character i love Dazzler, yeah. uh but um uh, it, it's 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 this could be uh this this is very important like you said this is a very important movie for the mcu this is gonna set up the x-men this is gonna be like the, this is their only movie for this year so if this one fucking tanks it it's going to be really bad for the MCU going forward. So this is really like, this is most probably the most important movie in the MCU, like uh, go, uh, like for the next phase. So if this movie fails, I think you just need to fucking scrap everything and fucking try to reboot the universe. Cause right. uh, the, if you fail with this, but you're, you're fucked. Yep. No, this, uh, that, that's, that's the, that. Yeah. You can say it better. Yeah, uh, but we yeah, we'll know what we're doing on the 26th of July. There you go. Yeah, I'll be at Comic Con at that point. <laughs> oh my god, uh, let's see. I just Borderlands. Don't want to... Oh, yes, oh, Borderlands. Yeah, I'm looking forward yes. to that. This, uh, Eli Roth, right? Eli Roth, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I never played the games. Oh, I I totally play the games, dude. I played I played one and two, haven't got into three, haven't finished, I haven't even started uh, Tiny Tina's 
you know, Wonderland. It's dude, it's a funny ass fucking game. There's a lot of comedy to it. Uh, I think Kevin Hart's in the movie. There's a whole bunch of people. There's a yes. like, big cast in that one. Yeah, Jamie Lee a- Curtis, I think, is it. I mean, there's so many people. And and Eli Roth, man. Eli Roth's a good director. Yeah, too. I like him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got uh, I got Thanksgiving pre-ordered. Uh, I wanna, yeah, I'm, I'm wanting to see that movie really bad. Yeah. I heard it was good. Borderlands, yeah. I can't wait for this. It's it's a funny game. I think it's uh, – I'm trying to think of, like, what kind of world it would be. Yeah. Uh, it's like an it's like an alien cowboy fucking world. Oh, like cowboys and aliens. <laughs> not 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 so much. I, I mean, saying cowboy doesn't really. It's just like they're cowboy style weapons in in the game and. Oh, okay. Different company. Pretty much in this in this world, the the gun companies, the corporations, they they run shit. You're oh, you're you're, you're what they call a vault hunter. You know, you're looking for treasure. You're looking for all this shit, but you come across all the the storyline of the game. Right. Know? And yeah. It's 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 a fun game. It's just I want to see which game they're gonna right. adapt. And Claptrap, I want to see if they there's a character named Claptrap. It's like an, a smart talking R two D two, talks a oh, lot of shit, and and he fucking thinks you're his slave, and he fucking <laughs> and he makes some funny ass jokes the whole time, calls you his minion the whole time. Minion, get over here. You gotta work. You gotta go get my soda. You know, it's it's great, but you can't blow him up because you love him. <laughs> All right, the movie of the year right here, uh, Craven Craven the Hunter. <laughs> Another another L coming from the Spider Verse, <laughs> the Sony Spider Verse. <laughs> uh, this got pushed back. This was supposed to come out in January. Now, another, yeah. good, another good sign, right? Yeah. Now it's got again pushed to August. Uh, the trailer was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Their trailer. I'm, I'm just, yeah. I'm just. They need to stop with this shit, man. <laughs> they need to like. Hopefully, Madam Web fails and Craven fails, and they all right. Let's just fucking sell the fucking Disney or fucking rethink this whole fucking thing. Uh, cause, um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Yeah. Why are you trying to turn Craven into a good guy? Cause they have all these characters. They need to make everyone an anti-hero just cause it worked for Venom. Uh, you know, even I was kind of, you know, didn't like that, but they, these heroes get so popular. They want to make them anti-heroes and make them uh, blur the line. Uh, Craven was never an anti-hero. He was never. Yeah. So just, this is stupid. They should. I, I would have loved to see a, a good like Craven in a Spider-Man movie, hunting Spider-Man in the streets of New York. That would have been cool. Yeah. Uh, great. But they. I don't know about this. This looks fucking really bad. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this at all. Um, I mean, I love a- Aaron Taylor Johnson, so I might go see it just because of him. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of. He looks fucking bad in it too, there, man. Yeah. From what I saw. He, he's he's been fucking, bad. He's been meeting with the broccolis about uh, James Bond. Who, who's yeah? Who's that's his, what I heard too. I, I really hope he does not become James Bond. He's still too young, I think. A little bit. He's like in he's, his, he's, he's like too wimpy. Thing. He's in his thirties, but you know, I don't know. I've always thought James Bond was more, you know, a little bit more sophisticated. Like, I, mean, I, I would see someone like Cavill would be great, but you know. That's my opinion on that. <laughs> Cavill, Cavill to me is just to, to me is just too large of a man to be like James Bond. Well, true. J- James Bond's a, a little bit. I still, if he was younger, Fassbender would be the perfect Bond. Oh yeah, yeah, Fassbender would have been good. Yeah, I like yeah. that was one of my picks for sure. Yeah, Fassbender's like a perfect Bond. Another, you could see that's the it's sophistication that he has. Uh, yeah, just like that, be... that season, uh, scene in uh, First Class when he's hunting down the the Nazis. Oh and then right. Bond. That's a straight up, the straight up uh, James Bond. Skarsgård yeah. wouldn't be bad either. Which one? No, uh, uh, not Alec- the, not fucking Alexander? Pennywise. Yeah. Alexander. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be a good. He'd be a good That's one. Large, he's got a little too large too. If you Cavill's large, that motherfucker's fucking pretty yoked up. Fuck too. Oh, then then go little brother then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, the movie that. Did not expect to actually get made, and I'm still not sure if it's. I'm still not sure if it's coming yeah. out, bro. Until we'll I see, see, see the trailer, trailer. I don't no, know. Until, until I trailer. sit down and it starts, I'll, until until the movie finishes, I'll be like, I believe that it's it exists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like the midway through the movie, you're like, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Tim Burton, goddamn you, gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Uh, this could, I don't know. It just depends what Tim Burton we're getting. Uh, if we're going to old school right. Tim Burton, uh, sure. Uh, you know, I'm glad Michael Keaton's back and you can't do a Beetlejuice without Michael Keaton. True. Uh, 
I love Jenna Ortega and all, but I, I just, I, I don't know, man. I'm just very skeptical of this movie because uh, I've, I've been following this movie since the <laughs> since there was the internet and I can look up movies and uh, Beetlejuice 2 has been rumored for so fucking long. Yeah, uh, I'm glad we're doing this before Michael Keaton gets too old. He's getting up there right now. Uh, but Beetlejuice is such a uh, you know iconic character to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm 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 cautiously optimistic. Maybe I, I want to say, but Tim Burton has not done anything good for, in my opinion, in the last fucking 15, 20 years. Uh, yeah. So we'll see. I did like Wednesday. He did produ uh, direct and produced uh, Wednesday. I thought that was a, a fun show. Uh, so maybe we'll get some more uh, classic Burton. Maybe he gets a maybe a Wednesday kind of. Pick up his uh, his uh, creative bones and going back to his old ways. We'll see. Uh, yeah, hopefully. But <laughs> I don't know. I'm still skeptical until we see a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> and this might be. I think me and Rick have been are getting pumped right now. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I until I fucking sit down with cocktail in hand, and that I see I hear the fucking you know daylight's come. I'm like yes, I'm ready. And the Danny Elf or any of the Danny Elfman. We get the Danny Elfman. We better get a fucking hip hop version of fucking daylight come. <laughs> I, I hope not. They start singing Drake or fucking uh, Drake, Nicki Minaj. Uh, yeah, no, Megan Thee Stallion's gonna do a remake of that. <laughs> if, <laughs> Nicki Minaj. If, 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 if fucking Lydia's daughter is listening to this shit, she's a horrible mother. <laughs> uh Transformers 1 that's uh I believe that's the cartoon uh the Megatron no. origin of Megatron and uh and Optimus Prime uh that could be I'm interesting juiced. I'm juiced for yeah, that I, I hope it's in the style of the old uh, generation 1 uh cuz it gives stay away from the bay fucking bay formers I just picked up Rise of the Beast uh, for cheap at Amoeba so I'm going to watch that uh, I've been kind of on the fence about that one so oh, we'll see I really love Bumblebee but yeah that uh uh, but I'm kind of worried about the voice of, um, op, you know, Optimus uh, Primus yeah. uh, Joker, Folly, Folly, do, uh, Folly, uh, do, whatever the fuck. I'll wait is. till it comes on TV. Yeah. I still haven't right. seen the first one. <laughs> I, to, yeah. We'll do, react, I mean, we'll do a reaction to that, dude. I like Lady Gaga. I don't fucking hate her at all, but I just, I, I just don't like, or I, I like that my issue with the first Joker movie. I don't like them explaining who the fucking Joker is. It's over explaining who the Joker takes away what the Joker is. He's a force of nature. He shouldn't be explained. Uh, but I, I appreciate that. You know, yeah, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a great actor, and he, I'm sure he killed it. But I just, I don't, I don't know. I just don't have a. I, I'm gonna watch it eventually. At some point, I'm gonna watch it. But. It's this, it's the same problem I have with. You know, Rob Zombie's Halloween. I don't want to know why Michael did the shit he did. He's ultimate evil. Yeah. You know, fucking J Joker is fucking just just the way he is. He 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 can't be analyzed. And what they're doing is they're giving us a reason why he did he is why he is. Yeah. I don't I don't want I don't want to sympathize. Mm -hmm. And I did. Yeah. You well, and just the that. fact that it's it's a musical, it just it's like how is that going to work? I just I can't wrap my head around that. You know that that's going to be. Because to well, me, I mean, a lot of it's going to be in his head. It's going to be like, uh, uh, yeah, be I guess that makes sense. It's going to be psychoanalyzed by Harleen Quinzel, and they're going to like have this yeah. fucking epic fucking in the, in his head fucking, uh, you know, musical in his head. So I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'll watch the first one. I'm going to watch it eventually. I, I've been tempted a couple times, but I'm just, yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I'm curious to hear your reaction to once you do get it. <laughs> no, just, he needs to, we need to film this. <laughs> yeah. I sit in and watch it. Yeah, what, right when I watched uh, Dark City. Yeah, uh, let's see. Um... <laughs> oh, Venom Three. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we got Wolf. The Wolfman. Is that the Ryan Gosling one? I believe. Or, not Ryan Gosling. Um. Uh, this is uh the I think this is Blumhouse. Yeah, I think it's Blumhouse is doing. Oh, okay. Uh, Venom Three. I didn't see the last one. Uh, you know, I love Carnage. I love Woody Harrelson, but I just I didn't not care. Say, not yeah. I don't care. Like been. The first Venom movie would, if it came out in the nineties, would have been fucking cool. But this is twenty twenty three, and like we're kind of over that era of movies. So you know, what Ven yeah. you know what Venom feels like? It feels like the first Blade movie. Yeah, yeah. If it came out during that time, it'd be like, oh, this is great. But yeah. the same thing I had an uh, issue with the the first. You can't tell a Venom story without Spider Man. It just kind of doesn't make sense. And the, the 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 whole reason Venom exists is Spider Man. Like, so if you try to do it without Spider Man, it just kind of oh. takes. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, so, uh, Gladiator Two, uh, Ridley Scott coming back uh, and go, a sequel to the 
uh, the Russell Crowe uh, Gladiator movie. Uh, uh, this is, I guess, about uh, the uh, the son. Uh, basically, are they trying to say that he impregnated the queen and uh, this, the son is going to come out of it and he's going to be the new gladiator? Is I that what think so? Yeah. Or the the it's the print the son of yeah um Connor Nielsen's character who was uh yeah and they yeah. kind of thought that he might be the father to that kid oh interesting yeah, yeah so that I think that's what they're gonna roll with in that one um yeah. I mean I loved the original Gladiator and you know it it was it was wonderful for its time I don't know sometimes you know sequels like that you just kind of we'll see what happens. Mm. Uh, let's see, yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, Incredibles, what the hell is that? Is that that's not the no. Incredible, Incredibles live action? No, uh, Wicked Part One, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that the movie? It's the yeah, the movie on the based oh. on the musical. The musical, okay, yeah, I definitely want to see that. Yeah, I guess the, the ladies from the uh, the stage show are gonna be in the movie. Oh, nice, that'll yeah. be good. Never seen it. But, uh, yeah, that, I, I'm interested. I, I, I love all. I love a lot of the stories that, that revolve around Oz, man. It's, I like that. I didn't think Oz is great and powerful. Some stuff was cool, but yeah, I, I'm definitely ready for Wicked. Uh, Lord of the Rings: uh, War of uh, Rohan. Is, is this writer, the, writer, the writer of Rohirrim? Yeah. What is what is this? This, this uh, is animated. Oh, it's uh, animated. Okay. Yeah. This this is. What, uh, what, story, what story is this? I want to say it's a prequel. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, so it's the Rohirrim, it's the horse riders. It's, it's like there's a there's a road with uh there's a war for Rohan, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. That's all. That's all I know. But it's it's not it's not like a Peter Jackson kind of a thing. Yeah, you know? uh, it's the first I'm hearing about it. Yeah, this is. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, Mufasa, the Lion King. So this is gonna be like a prequel. This is gonna be M Mufasa. This is a sequel to the John Favreau Lion King. Uh, uh, live action remake, I guess, uh, quote unquote. I, I didn't watch it. Lion King is one of my favorite uh, Disney movies. I, I have no interest in seeing uh, the live, the live quote live action one. Uh, I don't really care about this. Um, yeah. Do I need? Do we need a Mufasa origin story? Not really. <laughs> Was there a fucking prequel to Hamlet? I kind of would almost want to see like a more of a Shere Khan. Uh, uh, origin story. I don't know. I I love Shere Khan's one of my favorite. Uh, yeah, exactly. Villains. Do that. that. That's a lot better. <laughs> okay. they, they adapted fucking Hamlet for the Lion King. Yeah, and now they want to do a fucking a, a, a prequel of fucking Claudius or or Polon Polonius. Who's his dad? I can't forget but Uncle Claudius. Yeah, fucking Polonius, son of a bitch. <laughs> one of those two fuckers. No, uh, you can't do a prequel, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Sunday Hedgehog three uh, coming out yeah. December twentieth. Uh, I, I like uh, the Sonic movies have been a lot of fun. I, li I like that first one a lot. And uh, I, I the only issue with this one, I don't think Jim Carrey's coming back, which uh, that sucks because he was he was. I, I like seeing old school Jim Carrey kind of chew the scenery and ham it up who's a little the, bit. Who's the new villain? I don't, well, Shadow. they're gonna have they the uh, Shadow was like teased at the end of the second movie, so. Uh, but he's not really a villain, is he? Like he's kind of a he's kind of an anti-hero too, right? Like anti-hero. Yeah, Sonic yeah. Uh, Knuckles becomes a a hero hero, <laughs> a hero hero. But yeah, Shadow's like the bad boy. No. Yeah, I remember the first Sonic was the last movie I saw in theaters before pandemic. Oh <laughs> boy. Uh, so the this is the Karate Kid is the one uh, we were talking about earlier. So this is the um, uh, Larusso and Jackie Chan's character from oh, okay. Karate Kid movie. They're teaming up. So I don't know if, how this is going to tie into the last season of Karate Kid. Is it gonna, like kind of spin off from that? Are they going to tie it together? Uh, I'm kind of curious about that, uh, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I guess they had like a video of him and Jackie Chan hanging out and talking about the movie. Uh, so we'll see. I don't. I'm, I'm, uh, Cobra Kai did it so well. Uh, I, like that was the sequel I wanted. Uh, so I don't know about yeah. this. This could be. I don't know, and I don't it's think it's just a play. King fucking Will Smith, fucking son. Yeah, and they, they, I don't. The guys from Cobra Kai are not doing, uh, not doing this movie at all. Mm. But they don't, I don't think they have any involvement in this one. So that's kind of, mm, kind of a red flag because you know why wouldn't you like have these guys involved? Because they brought Karate back, right? They right. brought Karate Kid back from uh, obscurity, man. So like you know they they you know they did something good. Uh, and so the last movie on the list, uh, Nosferatu, uh, David Eggers uh, coming in, uh, remaking uh, one of Laurie's favorite movies. I'm sure she's uh, juiced on that. 
Uh, David Eggers is a great, great, great. Uh, if you did, you see The Northman? I have not seen no, and I actually haven't seen any of his films. But he, The Northman is fucking badass. That movie is fucking mm-hmm. really fucking good. Uh, so yeah, we got a, a hell of a cast. Uh, we got uh, Bill Skarsgård. He's playing uh, Count Orlock. Uh, Willem Dafoe is pre- uh, playing Professor Albin. Uh, Lily Rose Depp is Ellen Hunter. Nicholas Holt is in it. Aaron Taylor, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson's in it. So it's got a Nicole Kidman. It's got a hell of a cast. Um, so uh, yeah, Laurie, what are your oh, thoughts? Robert, on, uh, Robert Eggers. How was that? Robert, Robert Eggers. Yeah. yeah. Robert Eggers. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? I, David. You said David, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, um, Robert Eggers. Robert Eggers. Robert Eggers. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I mean, I was very, very, very disappointed that they even are attempting this because a number one, they're doing it in color, which is not right there was a big turnoff for me. And I mean, you know how I feel about the, the original film. I mean, it, it it opened the door for everything that we have now. And as much as I love uh, Skarsgård, you know, Max Streck did such a, he was just such a creepy, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I'll see it and we'll see, but I don't know. I just, I, to modernize, I don't know if they're modernizing it or keeping it in, in the same. More back in the, back in the time, I think, believe. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, we'll see. He, like, the Lighthouse is a crazy fucking. Movie. He's a really good director. They, he did they, they already re, they already redid it once with with the Klaus Kinski, right? Yeah, uh, you know, which wasn't that great, but yeah, this guy's a really good. And director. that's and that's what I'm worried about too. Is that if, if it was anybody else, kind of really good director me? though. That's the thing that yeah. like look. If, like if, Joe Schmo director trying to do this, I'd be like, yeah. But Robert Eggers, he's a really fucking good director. Well, the yeah, I mean, you have good directors though that still do mediocre films or still of course, kind of yeah, oh yeah, for sure. No, no, no. Oh yeah, right. But you can't hold a guy just because of the movie. Yeah. You know how special it is. You gotta. Yeah. You're gonna have to just. I mean, we'll like I said, I will see. I'll give my I'll give my un, unbiased oh, opinion on that. Definitely gonna <laughs> have to hear your your thoughts on that one coming. Yeah, out. like yeah. look, if this was M Night Shyamalan doing it, yeah, yeah I'd have, I'd have. I, like, you know, I would love. Action. I'm kind of. I would love to see um, if Guillermo del Toro. I, again, I love, would love to see his almost version of that. I mean, his version yeah, of Frankenstein. I know there, is going to be ridiculous. There are, people, there are people out there who, who I would want to do that kind of story. Yeah. Like, if they're going to redo it, get this guy to do it. He's yeah. out, this guy's on that list. For me, he's a good director. Yeah. I love the lighthouse. I love the witch. Yeah, I'll it, have to look. I'll have to look at his stuff and the, see the witch. The witch. The, yeah, the one thing about <laughs> the one thing about the uh, Nosferatu, it had a lot to do with atmosphere. Right. This guy shoot at. He shoots atmosphere. Yeah, his style. Cold. Like, yeah. Yeah. He shoots. Yeah, atmosphere I'll have to take cold. some. I'll take a look. At, you know, I and, have. Do you watch the lighthouse? Yeah, yeah, watch the lighthouse, lighthouse and Northman. I think I think you'll be a little bit more excited about this movie if you see it and see those movies. Uh, yeah, I, I was. Yeah, the, the Northman like blew me away. I was like surprised. I, like I'm, I'm bummed I didn't get to see it on the big screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a really good movie. Uh, Hondo Renee Zellweger was good as Judy Garland and Kate Blanchett as uh, Kate Hepburn. What movie was that? I have no idea. Years ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you still you still have a basis to 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 work from. It's uh, it's harder to bring a a, a a a written character from a page that somebody thought about, than to do an impression of them, and just uh, get an award. Yeah, valid point. Uh, Chris will always get, uh, get a quality belt. Is that what, what, what were we talking about on that one? <laughs> oh, maybe Karate Kid, black belt, blue belts. I don't know. Uh, uh, Hondo, yes, the Northman is my flick. Yeah, I remember uh, Alex talked about that a lot. Yeah, he he really liked that movie. Yeah, I wanted to hit it because Alex liked it. So yeah, no, it's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, like I said, I'll take a look at his stuff and see. Yeah, no, he's, he's a really good director. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely the one to be to ask. <laughs> okay, uh, what's gonna be? You know, what's gonna mm, happen? Yeah, so it's it's curious. Oh, <laughs> twisters. The belt is in regard to twisters. Oh, yeah, it. It, it it saves you. <laughs> Thank you. you. Never leave the house without a belt, man. <laughs> like a tornado pops up, you're safe. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, so all the stuff we talked about. Uh, give me your uh, give me your top three thing uh, thing you're looking forward to in uh, 2024. Like, uh, what, what, I would go um, I would go Ghostbusters definitely number one on my list. Um, I would go with um, X Men '97. I'm really excited about that, uh, and I would go. Uh, 
I'm, I'm curious to see uh, what the Skybound, uh, the Transformers universe is coming out with, uh, in the comic. I'm really excited about those three things for sure. Uh, so those are my top three excited about in 2024. Uh, Lori, what are you, uh, what are your top three excited about in 2024? Um, I would say Curb Your Enthusiasm would probably be number one for me. Um, our, I'm looking, really looking forward to Argyle. I'm, I really want to see that. And then, and then, very happy that uh, that's kind of coming into the universe. And uh, uh, I would say Beetlejuice too, even though I'm, you know, Beetlejuice, like you were saying, Ray, is just such a iconic movie. It's, it's such a quirky film. Cause you know, even back then there weren't really films like that. And, you know, Tim, Dur yeah. Tim Burton is such a, a unique director and, and Michael Keaton just stole that entire film. I mean, he's such an underrated actor as it is, uh, and and I I'm just curious to see what's going to happen. So I would say those, uh, those would be my three um, available or those three things that I'm looking forward to. Uh, Mr. Effort, uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. I mean, that's really going to be good, guys. You got to You got to check yeah, it February out. February twenty third uh, or twenty second. Yeah, February twenty second. That's going to come out. Uh, number two is Dune Part Two. Oh like, yeah, it's gonna be sick, man. Like it's gonna be great. Number three, or number one, uh, House of Dragons. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's, yeah, I, I I don't know where they're gonna go. I, I I can't wait to see it. That is definitely the thing I'm probably most excited about is probably House of Dragons. House of Dragons for a TV show, Dune for a movie. Mm, okay. Cool, awesome. Yeah, some uh, some fun stuff to and like you said, we're gonna there's some shit that's gonna pop up that we we're not aware yeah. of. I mean, that's gonna be like oh, some comic or TV show or something that's gonna pop up. I'm like wow, that's that was not on my radar, but now it's like my favorite thing. Yeah. So Well, you uh, know, and Comic Con always has some uh, some stuff that shows up that you're like oh damn okay that's gonna be interesting. We'll see how that goes. You know, so they sure. always have good, interesting th stuff there. I know there's a Maverick three that's coming up, but that's gonna yep. that's not till for another couple of years at least. Couple years down the line, yeah, for sure. We'll that's save good, that for. I, the, I'm still waiting for uh, what Ghost Protocol Part Two. What was it? The Last Mission oh, of Dead Reckoning. Oh, Dead right. Reckoning part that's two. gonna be called that's Dead right. Reckoning Part Two. They're gonna change the name. They're mm, they're uh, they're changing. Right. It. Yeah, it underperformed at the box. I thought it was great. I thought it was a really good that movie. That was good. Yeah, I, I liked that like that one. Yeah. It, it underperformed. Well, it came out right. Uh, it came out right before Oppenheimer and Barbie, like kind of just dominated everything. So it kind of came out at a bad time, and it so couldn't like utilize. It could utilize. Couldn't utilize the, the IMAX screen, and it kind of it kind of hurt it. So, but it was a good. Yeah, it was a good movie. I like uh, uh Isai Morales getting uh, getting uh getting a little mm -hmm. nice little second Done. win in the career. He, he, was a, he was a badass villain. Um. So yeah, a lot of shit to look forward to in 2024 for sure. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go to the pull list. I'm getting fucking kind of tired. My, yeah. <laughs> my, my energy is fucking low right now. Uh, but you know, 2024 is our pull list. Yeah, that's our uh, that's the stuff. That, we're yeah. Uh, so any other uh, thoughts before we get out of here, Lori? Um, not really. I mean, I'm still kind of debating whether to do my channel as well. You know, who knows? We'll see. I'm. I'm. I, the yeah. more I see films and TV shows that I like, the more that I want to start talking more about them and things so we'll see how that goes but yeah, do uh, it. just do it you know yeah. don't overthink it just do it and you know shit True. You know, us two schmucks can uh, do a channel, and uh, that, yeah. anybody, <laughs> exactly. Can. It's it's you know it's uh, you know it's, it's two uh, chips on the Davenport. <laughs> yeah, and just looking looking forward to um, also Comic Con going back to the normal um, this year since last year this it was happening during the strike, so there was nothing, yeah. no panels, yeah. no not practically no nothing. So it'll be nice to kind of get it's coming. Is Comic Con gonna go strong? Because they just canceled CES. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, as far as I know, I mean, I haven't heard otherwise. But I think, you know. I think they're gonna scale it back. It's not gonna be as crazy as it has been in the past. Because yeah. a lot of companies are like, we can do our like Disney has their D twenty three. Everybody right. has their exactly. own. Exactly. Like, they can have their own events and their own. Netflix is yeah. doing like their own Tadum event night. Tadum. Yeah. yeah. And they and they but can it, kind of control their own narrative instead of yeah. being buried. And like a lot of people don't want to kind of avoid Comic Con because their shit will get buried to, for some other announcement. So yeah. So it, it, at it least hopefully, at least hopefully it'll be back to at least relatively normal. You'll have some, you know, hopefully movie stars and things back to back to what it used yeah. to be. So we'll see. Uh, Hondo's looking forward to the Madonna Echo the Bunnyman concerts. Looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this uh, it's gonna be a long list next year. Uh, there's <laughs> <laughs> an orchestra playing Lost Boys with the saxophone guy. Oh, that's Lost right. Boys. 
Yeah, I heard about that. That sounds fucking. That sounds interesting for sure. <laughs> I'm going to the twin to the one that's the Twin Peaks one at the end of the month. Nice. Um, what was one I saw? Uh, there was another one I saw. Oh, they're doing like Looney Tunes at the Symphony. Like, yeah. The, the, I, I'm kind of curious about that one. Uh, I haven't been to the Symphony in a long time. Uh, a lot of shit going uh, going uh, going down uh, in the next couple months just to start off the year strong. So yeah, uh, Mr. Effort. Uh, before we got it, anything you want to? Talk about get out of here before we get the hell out of here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah that too. That, that and Giants, please. Niners. Hey, they go got get, Dusty. They got Dusty. Go, that's, that's go, a get, good go get Blake Snell and save the season. <laughs> save your off season. Get Schnell, Blake Snell. Schnell. Get Blake Snell. Schnell. 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 <laughs> No. Uh, like Laura said, go Niners. Uh, it was Niners. fun seeing uh, the Eagles collapse at a bar full of Eagles fans. It was crazy. It, it, it was like it was like literally Christmas weekend. It was the, the Cowboys, Cowboys down, going down, the Rams the went Eagles, down, and the Eagles going down. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, it was glorious. All our enemies have been taken out. That's fucking. It's glorious. It, it, uh, it, it was like the fucking the day of in the Godfather when they were fucking christening the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and all this shit was happening, yeah. <laughs> pretty much that weekend. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it was cool to see all the downfall of all our enemies. I do, I do renounce like, evil. Yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty fun. I was I was trolling in the fucking day. I was I was the only one. I was like me and one other guy were clapping for Tampa Bay. <laughs> I was like, I'm a Tampa Bay fan this week. Fuck the Eagles. Uh, so yeah, uh, that was fun. Uh, oh, well, you guys didn't have a receiver. We didn't have a quarterback. Stop crying. Bitch. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, I don't right? want to hear no fucking. Yeah, don't I don't cry hear about what no you didn't excuses have. from you fuckers. And no, yeah. I don't want to hear nothing. Uh, all right, uh, so yeah, let's get out of here and uh, yeah, uh, 2024. Like and subscribe to the video. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, in the comments, uh, hit us up with uh, your your choices. You know, what, what are you looking forward to? What are some of the fun stuff you're looking forward to in uh, 2024? Uh, yeah, some uh, stuff we didn't talk about. What do what you uh, what's on your radar for sure? All right, uh, we'll see you guys, and uh, yeah, we'll see you. Be safe, and we'll see you. Happy New Year! Bye, yay.